Hello, we're here. Oh, we are? Hello. Yes, hey, we're live. <laughs> and welcome to Prophet of Gaia, season three, probably episode 18. 18. Uh, could Don't be, could not it. be. We're just going to gamble and say that it is. But hey, guys, if you're just joining us for the first time, uh, good luck. And if you're an old viewer, which is what I most likely expect is going to be the case, um, let's get right into it. I thought you were going to say good week, luck again. <laughs> good luck again. <laughs> well, yeah, there's that too. Uh, last week, the uh, team once again saw the little time dial go. That was actually two themselves. weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? <laughs> that was last week. Well, we saw it happen two weeks ago at the end of the oh. session. Anyways, <laughs> they found themselves once again in the previous universe, surrounded by all of the people and stuff. And uh, they are once <laughs> threw me off. Uh, <laughs> they've got um, all of their ancestors once again um, met up with back in the previous universe. However. This time, they had all been much, much closer to what they know them as, Proteans. They all bearing four arms, blue glowing skin, um, abilities that are super and beyond normal nature. And, you know, all around uh, kick-assness. With the exception of Avathon, who they found to be still a human being. They chatted with these guys for a bit, and then they went to go help. Um, the situation being that they are going to uh, go up against some big bad known as the Terror, which to them sounded a lot like Avathon. I'm sure that was the first impression amongst you guys, right? Was that, oh no, Avathon's gone crazy. And then they saw Avathon just sitting there in a chair as a human people. And they were like, what the, what, 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 what? And uh, <laughs> so they went to go help. Um, they each split off to their respective uh, ancestors, uh, Sylvia and... Um, Annika went with Vishgiel and procured Leaf. Actually captured Leaf within the cloth fabric in the higher plane, which was much different than the last time that they went there. It seemed to have a strange... Um, a strangeness to the way that the creatures there behave. Which I don't even know if they picked up on, but... I mean, I don't know that we've ever... Had you have creatures. been to the higher flame before. Yeah, but I don't like... And it was all just pure energy glowing and massiveness, and there was nothing harmful anywhere. You went this time, and you saw Leaf as this little white... Yeah, like, it was just it didn't have any life before. ...get attacked by a before, mirrored right? evil version of herself. Um, and then uh, Sly went with um, Avathon and uh, Jude Lacron. And, uh, you know, told Avathon pretty much to just go ahead and become his bad self. And did a whole bunch of revealing stuff and all kinds of nonsense. I think a bird just flew into my window. Oh, no. No, it's cool. Dove's doing fine. Ooh. I just heard a bunch of stuff just slamming against the window. I was like, the heck? Is that hail? And I looked and I saw a bird just going. Oh, no. They, what, I mean, is the, is it open? Pretty sure he's got a concussion. Yeah. With the, they, they die doing that a lot. Yeah. It's not great. No, it wasn't open. Anyway. It's closed. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway. Right after there was a thump on my wall. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The bird hit both of our walls at the same time? No, it was catch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's say the I'm bird hit your catch. wall and then teleported and hit my window. Whoa. Uh, but yeah. Wait, your cat's name is Catch? No, <laughs> no. what? My Ketchup is... girlfriend's name is Catch. My, my wife, oh. Catch, oh. <laughs> punishing our cat Aiden. I heard, I heard because Catch. Because he was being a very dirty boy and would lose his <laughs> <laughs> It happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Leo, meanwhile, went with Erasma and has been straining his brain the entire time about what he can do with the Ring of Arthanon during its creation. Having the potential to change it in whatever way he sees fit is driving him mad. And that's where we're going to pick up today's session. In, <laughs> in the workshop of Erasma, sitting there around was... the pieces of the miniaturized Ring of Arthanon, there's Erasma with his four arms, his mantle that he's wearing, 
um, that also Leo is wearing, but Leo's been pretty hush hush about that. Mm -hmm. Surrounded by copies of, <laughs> but did you copy yourself right too? Yeah, we both yeah, have copies so, of ourselves. So they've got just like dozens of copies of Leo running around helping dozens of copies of Erasma as they work on mini technological strides for the big fight with the terror. If this so, is medium, I would hate to know what hot is. Medium is hot, dude. <laughs> if they say hot, they mean uh, face melting. There was mild, medium, <laughs> yes. spi or hot, and then spicy. What the yeah. fuck? Spicy? What is the rest of it? <laughs> Shit. Spicy is just a single ghost pepper. Yeah. We should send the it's Schneider just the pepper, Toa Satan. Yeah. It's delicious, but hot. <laughs> Oh, that's when I got medium. I, that's when I usually eat spicy food. When I go to Indian places, I always get medium. Because yeah, I got to me, own. that is hot enough. <laughs> oh, damn. Anyways, so Arasma says, All right, so working on this for a while now, and we seem to have come up with a few advances. Obviously, your laser beam thing, very nice. The uh, mind prison, inspired. The ability to lock one down and... Uh, Keep their powers to shackle them. Very good addition. Um, seems like a good way to imprison them physically as well as mentally. Um, what else do we have? Uh, well, on the same line of... The, re the return to itself was the fourth one. That's right. right. Returning yes. to itself. All right. Uh, something along the lines of being able to imprison them is great, but maybe reverting them. So those like ourselves could be taken a step backwards. I don't to... know if that's purely technological or genetic, or if it can do both. It falls under the purview, I believe, of an Emiratu. She has developed the ability to influence the evolution of other creatures. And that is why we have reached the state we have. Uh, originally, it probably wouldn't have been this strong. Um, but with her influence over the grand um, expanse of energy, that exploded outwards, and her influence thereafter, we began to evolve at an alarming rate. Once she got control of her powers, we settled down to the point where we are now, but if she had not uh, stopped them, or if she had, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we probably would have been completely different creatures at some point. Probably pure energy beings would be my guess. Um, I mean, my, we might be able to adapt it to her abilities, yeah. yes. To either amplify or to stop others from, you know, continue. We had a guy who who he peed acid. It would have been really nice to like help him uh, out with that. Yes, that was yes. just very inconvenient. I've seen a few that had the same abilities actually. So you Not know, the it, yeah, kind of kind of messy. But uh, being able to help them out, you know, maybe being like, oh, well, let's let's uh, get rid of that for you, you know, could could be a good thing. I suppose so. We'll have to talk with the Nimi and see if we can find a way to use some of her genetic sequencing, try to uh, mimic her psionic powers. It's a good thought. It's a good thought indeed. Um, visit an enemy, see what you can find out, and we'll, uh, we'll continue with that. Take a few of me's with you. I'll leave the rest of me's with you. <laughs> then another one of you turns around and goes... <laughs> <laughs> Already working on it. <laughs> it's like, oh right. Do you Sorry. Say that? Sorry, didn't realize that. Apparently, we're already working on it. Do you have any other ideas? <laughs> uh, potentially the the vault. Have you guys started the vault system yet? Uh, you did mention that at our initial meeting when you guys visited this time. Um, the vaults that we supposedly set up in the future. Um, no, we haven't begun that just yet. We're more concerned about surviving at this point. So less of an issue for you immediately, but maybe having, you know, the ring when it's inside there, at least the person holding it can, like, go through a back door or something, you know, at least once. Like, something where, you know, they don't get, like, pummeled like because a you guys, like, key. to kill people. Like... A lot. That's true. Then again, if it ever fall into the wrong hands, that would be a key directly in. Right, but that's why I'm saying, like, once. You know, put put a usage cap on it. You know, because 
So perhaps Given. we could keep some of our more particular devices that we are to create or to discover in maybe one particularly potent vault, a sort of mishmash of a most powerful artifact, and then use the King Ring of Arthanon as a key. I mean, that would be the idea, right? Seems like a good plan. Um, go ahead and input the com combination. We'll make it a six-digit code. That way, knowing the correct order of which to push six different symbols would take infinitely more chances than it would to input the three, which would seem to be the set of rules. It'll be our little secret. With a self-destruct in, in there. If they hit six and it's wrong? I mean, makes sense to me. Very well. We'll put it in. Which I think you guys experienced it almost blowing up once. <laughs> I think so too. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that is one of the features. Oh my god. That was one of the features. If you just pushed all the buttons, it literally explodes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Yes. Okay. That was one of the features. I remember you guys, you, you like, you did your first, like, uh, like see into the future thing for it. And you're like, just everybody died. And you were like, oh, let's not do that. <laughs> that, that seems like a bad idea. <clears throat> I did remember a couple of the other original functions of the Ring of Arthanon. They included uh, enhancements and riffs and stuff. So right. self, self enhancement and stuff. Which we never did, but that's mm -hmm. what you didn't know. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know. Anyways, so. We'll get working on that as well. Um, there's one more feature I'm sure we can plug in based on the combination of the power. One more feature. Um, think about it. Take your time. Um, meanwhile, maybe check in with your friends. At least send one of you two. I'll send three of me to go check on. <laughs> just send one of you, so just that way you can participate <laughs> in anything else they do. I, I will go. I'll be like, all right, and I'll I'll head out. Okay. Cool. All right, so, meanwhile, um, Sylvia and Annika just returned, um, got themselves healed up a little bit, or are in the process of doing so, after capturing Leaf, who has been put back into the jar, uh, the little stand that seems to encapsulate these different energized uh, cloths that seem to be woven from planar material. So... I'm not sure if you, who you want to bring with you to tackle this next one. I'm sure you'll need time to rest. But as I said before, going into the void, this dark, absent abyss of a plane, it's dangerous for me. I feel as though I'm being devoured every second that I'm there. Silence. <laughs> Sylvia, Sylvia, Sylvia is silent. Like She's not happy about this. Uh, Sylvia is a scientist, and she'll test the fuck out of people, but she doesn't test on animals. And this is kind of like yeah, this that. is not great. Um, I'm curious about the ethical question. Humans? Ah, sure. So test away. Animals? Whoa. Consent. Yeah, that's that's true. Leaf couldn't consent. Leaf was only okay because it would have died otherwise. Yeah. And you guys don't know the situation. All you know is that the black one. That's what I'm Bonto. assuming to make myself feel better, okay? Yeah. As well as Bonto's not really an animal. No, nope, Bonto's not an animal. A being. Right. So, sorry. Uh, we're with Vistiel. There's nobody else here, right? It's just the three it's of us. It's just you two and Vistiel right now. And then, and then and I'm pretty sure that Sly was heading your guys' way. Well, is we. Vistiel also my ancestor. Of uh, you are Rosma's descendant, I believe. Oh. I. All of these names are the same to me. I know. I have it all written down, so easier. She might be she might be Vishiel's, but I think she was supposed to be. I think Oh, she's both. She's both. Yeah, it might have She's a Rosma oh. and Vishiel. Yeah. She's a cross line cross. Because isn't um Caldwell as well? Crosswell Caldwell is directly descendant to uh Arasma. Arasma. Okay, never mind. Um but yeah, I mean, like, we all have more than one ancestor, right? It's just that, like, this jail is, like, my dominant, like, 
gene, I guess, or heritage in terms of power and stuff. And then Sylvia just has Vistiel and Erasma equally. You're pretty, you're pretty much pure Vistiel ancestry, which is why you have all the hot bloodedness in you, which you guys haven't seen yet in the actual Vistiel. Vistiel. Yeah. No. Um, okay. So, and then what did she just say? <laughs> we got sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she no, said she was just saying, what. and she was just saying, um, I don't know who you wanted to take with you um, on the next one. Uh, oh, right. How much time you need to take a break. And... Yeah, well, I mean, if we already said that if, if we're going after Bonto, we should bring Sly with us just because he knows Bonto better <laughs> than anyone. Um, that said, we don't. Do I, I feel like our conversations were just, hey, what do you like to eat, Bonto? Bonto. That's true. I mean. <laughs> but he liked, you carried him around. You guys had a connection. Yeah, like me going after <laughs> Leith. I mean, she didn't yeah. know who I was yet, but I knew. So maybe that was like important somehow. Um, so yeah, well, so I as mean, you guys well, are talking uh, in the hallway, out in the hallway, uh, Avathon, Gilacron, oh, not Avathon, Avathon stayed yeah, behind to meditate. Yeah. Um, Gilacron and Sly <clears throat> run into Leo, and then they run into Leo again. The first Leo walking past them and not seeming to pay them any mind, but then the second Leo, you, um, hailing them. <laughs> are we doing the whole multiple use again because that that thought we agreed to never do that again <laughs> out of he creepiness he's doing it already <laughs> <laughs> Just, okay whatever are you guys working on something good lots of things because there's lots of us god that scares me uh what are you about to do um well we're mostly work like primarily me is working on the ring right now. Except that I'm here with you right now. So one of me's working on the ring right now. Oh. Okay. Um we're going to go help. I'm guessing y'all don't need help. Cuz you you help I don't We're going to go uh check out and see what uh what Annika and them are doing. I'll go. I've got nothing else to do. I'm already busy. Yeah. PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> I was, was kind of like, look at G. LeCron and I'm like, do you have to deal with this with Arasma? Ever since what? Arasma got his powers, yes, it's been a nightmare. <laughs> oh, God. All right, well, uh, let's head on over to the ladies, see what they're up to. Oh my god, guys, we're missing really good other stuff that's not our stream. What? <laughs> Sorry. Right. Don't want to advertise to other people about other streams so they can just leave here and go over there. But, you know, yeah. maybe you guys should. Critical role. Liam O'Brien's going to draw with Marisha. That's okay. We can catch the VOD later. <laughs> <laughs> I like Liam. Okay, sorry. Let's go. <laughs> so. Um, you guys heading over to Vishiel's lab, right? Yes. Okay. You guys arrive at Vishiel's uh, lab to see um, wounds being tended to on uh, Sylvia by Annika and vice versa with the Vishiel standing there dispassionately looking at a couple of uh, fabrics sort of floating around in tubes. This is the first time you guys have been to this room. You immediately recognize the purple flowing ethereal fabric of leaf hovering in a encapsulated tube next to that you see a big large black cloth whipping around listlessly you see a um a red cloth violently striking against the sides of the of its uh, capsule across the way you see a white one that seems to be sort of flowing very very stilly almost like a placid lake with the tiniest bit of motion and then at the far end, you see what looks like a green piece of fabric sitting completely straight out. In all directions, it just seems to be completely still. And it's a cut of fabric, but it's just completely flat, two-dimensional. Is it in a tube, too, or is it just sitting It's in a tube. It's just uh, floating there in the tube. Look at Annika and Sylvia. I'm like, what, what, ha what did you, what happened to you two? Leith's nemesis. <laughs> Leith has a nemesis. Uh, not anymore. We kind of obliterated it, but we uh, we went to the higher plane and we are making the fabric things. And I just point to the 
Whoa, whoa, you obliterated something in the higher plane here. Y yeah. And you're worried about him making changes? Right? Well, I mean, I figured Leith is already in the fabric, so if we went to capture Leith, then nothing really changed, except I'm the one that put her there now. Did you ask Leith if you did that before? Huh? Yeah, did you ask current Leith if that's what previous Leith went through? Not exactly. Leith's as not in, saying nothing. <laughs> as in not exactly you didn't ask, or Leith said not exactly if I mean, I... I kind of asked. Leaf said this is where I come from. Yeah, like Leaf. This is when it happens. You know. Right. Leaf doesn't okay. talk a whole lot. Well, well, uh, that's understandable. We're terrifying. Right. Uh, well, well, we're here to help. Uh, what's next on y'all's agenda? Next would be the black fabric. Bonto. You mean... Looking at your energy and her eyes scan over you, I think you might be apt for Joyce to go into there, as well as the other one. Your blood is gross. Right? Whoa, whoa. whoa. Isn't it? Hey. hey. I'm grateful for it, don't get me wrong. But it's gross. Yes, it might make you immune to the situation there. Especially whatever this membrane You're around gross you too. is. <laughs> whatever this membrane is surrounding you, I think would probably protect you from the elements of that place. Well, oh, right. first, uh, if I'm about to do any fighting, can uh, we get an arm for me, maybe? <laughs> you know, to I can, fight with? I can still borrow oh, you one. Oh, poor Sly needs two arms to get in a fight. <laughs> All right, I only need one to kick your ass. Right? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so we're going to be working on an arm for you, are we not? Hmm. I don't know, were you not? I think a robotic arm would probably be most likely uh, be acquired from Rasma. Um, not best on the, that I sort of technology. Try to I could create something one. for you. Ooh, we Upward. could do it together. We could tag team it. I just need it to be strong, like, because my arm is strong, and I don't want, like, a useless arm. Well, we simply need to use a specific sort of material to create it. Theoretically, we could even use the fabrics. Hmm. Like this one. We just captured it recently. Not Gestures Leith. towards Leith. Not Leith. I'm sorry, what? Leith's mine. Leith? Leith. Yeah, the it's box. future. Or, yeah, it's hers, but... And I, yeah. I, I pull at the scarf around my neck and kind of lift it up. <clears throat> I see. You, you actually develop quite an attachment to it. I do. Interesting. That's good to it's know. Fr it's friendly. Yeah. Super cute. She's a see. sweet girl. So, we care for this one, then. I'll hopefully let that not influence my own future behavior. I feel like at this point, it's uh, we've all kind of thrown that out the window, right? Yeah. Indeed. But one of the other ones, maybe this next one, the black one, perhaps, or the red. I'm sure any one of these would be useful in the creation of your new arm. If you wanted something um, potent, I, I need you as battle ready as possible. I can create something with my own sonic abilities, but I'm not sure it would be any stronger than what your previous arm could do. Well, I guess I don't. I want to have a, you know, a Bonto. Poor Bonto. He's not with me anymore. But, uh, so, uh, did anybody sorry. know what the red Bonto. one was? Oh! Yeah, the black fabric is a, a Bonto. creature. So you already have a kinship with this one as well. It appears that we are successful in the creation of these fabrics, then, yes. Well, you were. I don't know if we were here. I'm, yeah, I you were without we us. Were with at, without us, I don't know. Just, how this time thing works. I guess I can ask Bonto next time I see him. Although he just oh. says Bonto. If we know what we're looking for, maybe it'll make things easier while we're there. Like I said, it's an empty void. And just the feeling is oppressive. Oh, the, the abyss, yeah? The abyssal plane? Yeah. Yeah, they got yeah. this. Yeah, I, I'm half third, third that. I mean, Fourth. I'm uh. happy to... <clears throat> well, I wouldn't 
stay happy, but you know, I'll tag along and stuff. If, uh... Well, it'd be easiest if, um, I'm sorry, whenever you're ready, Miss Sylvia, if you brought them there. I suppose I'll sit back for this one. You witnessed how I used the net previously, correct? Sure. Um, that should be the same means by which you get in your yeah. joint. But I've tried casting a net in the void before, and it's to no avail. What went wrong, exactly? Um, I felt resistance. And also wasn't sure what I was casting at. I felt a presence and cast, but... Um, whatever it was, it did not take... Right. In my in my head, while you're you know you're all having this conversation, I talked to um, badass, and I'm like, if I let you plane walk, essentially going through you, could I just go to the abyssal plane by myself? I have no idea how to plane walk. I've been locked inside of you. Otherwise, I would have plane walked myself right out of your <laughs> fucking brain a long time ago. <laughs> Well, duh, but I mean, like, since you're connected directly to the abyssal plane, are, are you a gateway, theoretically, that I could just travel through? Let me roll an intelligence check to see if I know anything about this. No? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there was He's a way... He's not smarter than you, Sly. Yeah, no. I feel like there was a way that I was able to get to the abyssal plane, though. I just don't remember what the fuck it was. But there was a way that I individually was able to go. I think you've you've managed it before when you exited your entire body. Yeah, I was about to say. I think it was consciousness, though. It wasn't yeah. body. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> and you've been there before, but yeah. that was during the Keeper of Souls. Well, Cry. Sylvia can take us. And yeah, how do I do that? You just you just, sure. you just roll your um. Intelligence, intelligence willpower, willpower, intelligence, and... willpower and planar displace, displacement. Okay. I'm like, so, um, red thing, arm, yeah? Well, uh, that would be the next one. Uh, we're going currently in progressive order. The further the plane, the more energy I'm sure it will take from her, so we can only go as far as we can go. Well, should we... Literally, the threshold goes up each time for her being able to successfully plane walk you there, so. Should we use the fabric from the furthest one, then? If if we're assuming we're never going to get there? Or can you make more fabric? No, she, I think she's saying she needs to... Oh, we need to actually capture, capture thing, it. And then use yes. the fabric okay. to my arm. Yeah, yeah. duh. Yeah, exactly. Um, so. I rolled a 28. 28? I'll get you to do this. Okay. Right now. <laughs> we'll get you to the next one. <laughs> Yeah, we might have to help her. Yeah. yeah. So as you um, as you form the energy around you, stretching, you guys feel like that same pulse, like like she's just literally pulling the fabric of the world around you. Who else going? All of us. Everybody. I think. Yeah, I guess just, all of us. This time, uh, Vishiel staying behind because she yeah. she doesn't like it there. It hurts her. Um, I'm trying to remember if I've been there before. The abyssal plane. I don't know. Yeah. So. The only time like we've all been there was Keeper of Souls. No. Gotcha. You guys all witnessed Sly go there, actually. Well, he was... Well, I was thinking, the queen. Annika saw the... That's right, yeah. scary I saw thing. the scary monster thing, and then I've kind of, like, when we were with the Keeper of Souls, I think I had, like, visions and stuff, and, like, I, and I, I thought, saw like, it again. I ended up seeing the thing you saw. The thing I saw, yeah, which was... So we've all seen it. Ass. Okay. I was just trying to remember. Continue. Yeah. And you've seen, basically, it come to the material plane a lot yeah. as well, you know. Yeah. The planets have been completely terraformed to be like that of this plane. You know, black, black, <clears throat> green, you know, fissures and all that stuff, so. So. You feel the area going around you begin to warp and stress as Sylvia focuses her energy, her arm, like, with the uh, slight uh, transparentness to all of her skin, really starts to pulse and glow and take on a sort of black hue as she... <laughs> and you feel yourself pulled in to whatever this is. Skipping straight past one plane and straight to the abyssal plane, you find yourself surrounded in complete darkness. There is no floor. There is no air. There is nothing. Around you, you see small twinkling green bits of light and that is it so why did you want to hulk out for this so you like at least i'm already hulked out oh, okay, yeah. um 
I talked to Badass Why do Mike. I not look as big as normal? Uh, it's because I'm missing an arm, yeah? <laughs> I look half the size. Um, talked to Badass Mike. Does this look familiar? I don't recognize this. Um, the feeling is familiar, but the area itself is very much not where I come from. And you're an actual abyssal person, right? Not one of the corrupted uh, nobles? Uh, yes. You were born in this. Just very uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Um, <clears throat> you all feel something. Except Leo. Leo just feels the agitation of the thing. The symbiote that has bound itself to him. But everybody feels something gnawing at them. It's not like a bite. It's just like you can feel as though you're, you yourself are slowly being pulled apart on a level that isn't physical or even spiritual. Just something feels like it's just gnawing bit by bit, enjoying pulling you apart. Let's make this quick then, yeah? I mean, I mean so like, are we inside of Bonto already? You Fuck. see the stars just these little green twinkles just sort of moving and shifting around you. Are they close? Like, do the twinkles, like, sail past, or is it, like, stars, like, off? They seem to be off in the, like, they seem to be like stars, but they're moving. They're very definitely moving and shifting and turning. Okay. Do you think uh, if we just, like, mm. said, like, hey, Bonto, Ooh. you want to come with us and eat other worlds, he would be down with that? I don't know. With the 39, I kind of release my consciousness to feel for any active brain activity <coughs> okay with a 39 shit yeah you just feel a very familiar feeling and Bonto. <laughs> <laughs> and as you do this your mind seeing around you you see the stars again but then you recognize the way that they're moving and you connect the dots. They're small fissures on the great beast that's completely surrounded you. We're inside of Bonto? You're not inside of Bonto. Bonto is all around you, if that makes sense. <laughs> Bonto is the abyssal plane. Us taking Bonto awakens the abyssal plane. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Kind of what I was worrying about. Is this what sets off the creation of the nobles? Like, is yeah, this... right. <laughs> it opens the plane because without Bonto there to eat them, they can grow and... and grow. Yeah. yeah, Bonto surrounds you, but it is not Bonto. Whatever this thing is, there you don't sense any intelligence, just hunger. So how do we like capture? everything i need you guys to all make me a willpower check Ooh. as it starts to go on oh it's just straight willpower once willpower do, do i need to make it no to discipline do? or anything not you yet because it'll sure. it'll completely eat your uh, symbiote before it eats you uh any sort of discipline or just nope straight nope willpower. this is just a willpower because you're trying to keep your existence intact tizies <laughs> tizies 21, 21, 14. That'll pass the first time. <clears throat> Yay, I'm dead. Again. Well, <laughs> well, we'll try to make to it leave. quick. You just probably have to leave the plane before us, which Well, we can't, means... we can't go back without her, so. Do you guys feel this thing, like, tugging at you in so many different directions? Your vision itself seems to blur for a moment as you start to force yourself just by sheer willpower back into reality. For a moment, it just feels like you're falling into a dream and then pfft, shake it off. You guys so, gotta do. So with that um, sense, can I feel like I can invade that kind of brain-dead mind? Yeah, I mean, you, can, you can talk to it. You can do whatever you want. Just, I would do it quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm just like, I'm like, yo, Bonto or Bonto's brother or father. The thing that will be Bonto. <laughs> the thing that will maybe <laughs> the artist be... formerly. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I kind of 
force upon an image of the feeling of being full. Like the actual just feeling of being full. I project I that into um, 31. 31? You guys hear audibly. And you feel the feeling of being torn apart subside slightly. Are you okay? And then I communicate, I'm like, hey, uh, you know what? I'm going to call you Bonto, um, if that's okay. And um, if you're really hungry, we got some really great food over at this other plane that we inhabit. From all around you guys here. Bonto. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> what would happen if you called him Steve? Yeah. Damn it! I should have just called him Steve! <laughs> Bonto. <laughs> All around you, echoing and feeling. So, Make a persuasion Bonto. check. Alright. Uh, what is persuasion? Willpower and, and persuasion. Just willpower? Okay. Influence, yeah. Yeah, mo only your abilities use multiple base stats. <clears throat> like your sonic yeah, abilities sure. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And special things like burst of strength or remembering things or what have you. Oh, wait, and then I need to have a shitty, that was a really shitty roll. Wait, was that intelligence for like the com like having the conversation? So, 24. 24? Yeah, yeah. You guys feel yourselves being pulled apart again. Don't think he liked that. No, he didn't even seem angry about it. He just seemed like, yeah. mm -hmm. time to eat you. <laughs> um, I need you guys to all make a willpower well, check. Well, can I put up the four corner defense real quick? Uh, Yeah, you could try, yeah. 13, Bass with Drums Imposing Will, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drums Imposing Will on Bonto, okay. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure he's not even targeting. He's just like, oh, what's my yeah. what's my threshold? Fly. Oh, I what? what? Let's oh, 14. 14. 14. Yeah, nope. He's he's good. He's gonna eat you. <laughs> His 20 d12 says no, thank you. <laughs> okay, so it lasts one round and absorbs energy from six planes, and we all get three hit points per round. Okay, cool. So, um, go ahead and make your willpower checks to see <laughs> how much it does that. Yeah, it was pretty bad. 13, 8, and I think 10. Or uh, no, 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 it'll, no, it'll dissolve energy, so... Um, okay, cool. So, for a second, uh, Sylvia, you feel like you're about to... And then, boom, like, you're immediately back and you find this shield around you. And Bonto is just... <sighs> surrounding it. And then you see this thing begin to shift and move around you. You see the fissure sort of start to move faster and in a singular direction. And you see this massive something, almost shapeless face, come out of the darkness and press itself against the four corner defense investigating it there's no eyes or anything to be seen you're not sure what the shape of this face might be but you feel its presence can we there in can massive only imagine just like smash okay well, so... no it's like it's just like it's most it's mostly like the 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 size is immaterial make... and doesn't make that much of a difference but basically yeah it's sniffing it it's like can... you just see blackness come in front of it when the uh... Quick question, when Vistiel used the cloth on Leith, she just kind of wrapped her up, right? And mm -hmm. kind of just want to throw the cloth over the defense and see if, like, getting it on his face will... <laughs> I was going to talk to Bonto, and I'm like, you know what? Scratch that. Food sucks over there. Uh, how would you like to just not be hungry? Make a make a make a add plus ten and make a roll. Not be hungry is a good 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 line. <laughs> Thirty nine. 
Uh, make a perception check for me, Leo. Uh, perception is my will. Or is it alertness? Alertness. Trying to see if I have any other anything towards it. I don't think so. <laughs> Eighteen. <clears throat> That'll do. Sort of in the distance to the far left, you sort of see something for a second. This like flash of light, and you look over, and you see this what looks to you like some sort of strange, not sure if it's new or old tech machine. Just sort of appear like a mile off you sort of see this tiny little thing for a second and then you see the stars sort of form around it and then gone hmm. like gone as in eaten or gone as it it vanished gone as in you just see it just go hmm. not like it appeared it just, oh, yeah, Bonzo ate it. <laughs> Bonzo, was that tasty? I'll take that as a yes. Would you like to eat more things that are not from here? And as he put it, not be hungry. Make another influence check. You, this time. Oh, what was the other part for this one? The intelligence plus. Are you what? still connected to its mind? Uh, I am. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. What's the other uh, the other part of it? It's willpower and perception. And willpower and influence. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's that's influence based better. Of willpower. Yeah. Uh, I actually have a conversation. <laughs> I'm gonna re-roll that. That's a twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right. You see this flash for a second, Sly, as you're listening in, where an actual coherent thought comes comes into it, whatever mind entity this is, and it's all around you, and you get the sense of how. And but you hear, Bonto. Yeah. Well, Bonto. Right now, in the other plane, there's currently a big fight about to happen. And we're talking hundreds and hundreds and thousands of, of ta beautiful, tasty things that you can just eat. Sylvia, out of the corner of your eye, you see what looks like a black hole appear, and a planet mm -hmm. sort of appears out from it, and then you see the entire planet. <laughs> I'm really worried that taking Bonto away is what lets the nobles take over. Yeah, no, it definitely is. <laughs> definitely is. Bonto's just... Yeah, it's a whole new, fresh plane. This one seems a little vacant at the moment. This one's just... Bonto. Oh. Hungry. I just hold up the the fabric, like your four corner defense is gone. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> time is down, and he presses near it. You feel this massive presence so forceful that it even gets near you. There's like a shudder and a tingle down your spine. I don't care if you're fearless. I don't care. Mm -hmm. it's just like the a... actual presence of Bonto near you is makes you feel like ants. <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> squeezing Sylvia's <Tell> hand. <laughs> Don't eat us. I'm just like, look, Bonta, think of it this way. You can keep doing what you're doing, or you can explore, see new things, see beautiful things. I don't know if you like beautiful or if you like ugly, but we got both. Look at me, look at them. We got everything, all right? Yeah, think he's both this. beautiful and ugly. Right? Look at this face, but then look at this. You get the sense that he's thinking 
You are all very hard to eat. <laughs> 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 but he's not like thinking it coherently. You just get that yeah. sense of like, <laughs> like slight. <laughs> Because you know this, he ate a whole planet, and he didn't. He's like try. a dog he trying like, to get a treat out of um, the Kong toy. Yeah. Numb planet, you guys. Hmm. 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 Bonto. Hmm. 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 My food keeps talking to me. I mean, so, so like in my head, I'm just like. <laughs> that's I mean, what that's what he's been going through. That's what's been going through his mind the whole time. We, you guys, you guys eat some other things, and that sort of clicks with him for just a second now. And he's like, "How?" And you're just like doing all talking about other stuff. And the planet appears. He's like, "Hmm, hmm, what was that?" And like each time that he, you get this sense that he just keeps forgetting why you're here and trying to eat you all over again. <laughs> but then you put this fabric up, and he looks at it. And maybe one more pers persuasion check for that last thing he said. Sly. All right. So is that with a D12? So 23. He looks at it again, and then he, you have this, like, presence. Like, you could feel, like, all of this, these tiny little fizzers, these starlights, sort of staring at you, Annika. And then you get this feeling in your head, Sly. He's like, inside? Yeah. yeah. Simple. Mm -hmm. You Less. feel like this, this feeling that he's about to open his mouth to try to eat you again. And then, hmm. <laughs> 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 you guys Maybe he needs to eat the fabric. You guys feel as if this entire thing around you is like breathing because it's literally opening its mouth to eat you. And then the second, hmm, but, hmm. He's in, he's in turmoil, guys. Whatever you guys got. Otherwise, I'm going to have you make another willpower check. I promise you, you are not going to be happy if you eat us. Oh, yeah. I have all kinds of just terrible flavors and you don't want to know where he's been yeah i've been yeah but again flavor bad flavor <laughs> bad flavor you don't I, get that he doesn't say good flavor no, he just yeah. sort of says that's the kind of impression not words remember that's the yeah. kind of feelings like ooh, interesting I, as he as he good flavor as he thinks that i literally put into his mind the most disgusting tasting thing ever well as he's thinking about eating us i just like and disgusting this. Boop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but then what I do, I give him some imagery work. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> I give him some imagery work of a beautiful landscape and a Bonto, a separate image of himself looking at this beautiful landscape and going, Oh, and just like boo, like just, oh, no. just eating <laughs> like, whole planet, just eating this planet that's already about to be destroyed. Uh, he's just like eating this planet, and then the feeling of just tell about the time he eats the mountain full of people. Yeah, he gets to eat a yeah. mountain full. Of, well, he eats a bunch of people. Are you going to share also... memories of him as Vanto eating planet? Hey, eating sure, and I'll and I'll even no, like he, show he, a few. Add a twenty. Know. Add plus. You guys 20. don't know he ate the people. Oh yeah, yeah, but we. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the regular thing. Thirty-nine. He gets to eat a chunk of super compressed mountain. And like stuff that's yeah, even that scarier weighs... than he is. Yeah, I, just, I kind of show him like a little hors d'oeuvre that's like this big, but packs a punch of just <laughs> gets him full for at least a day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I need you to make me a willpower check, uh, Annika, as he enters into the fabric. Okay, I can do that. To how well you can resist the impressive uh, power of an entire... 22? Um, uh, Annika goes unconscious. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> Annika is holding the fabric, and you guys watch as her 
body starts shaking violently and you see your head twist in six different directions at one time. <laughs> no, like literally you see her head split into six head and start shaking uncontrollably and she just oh, goes Lord. unconscious Gross. and goes limp. As she's holding this thing um, in her hands, her entire body convulsing and you guys watch as the stars one by one just like suck into it and then blackness. Uh, we should probably go back. And then as the blackness starts to pull in, you guys actually, um, I need you to, Sylvia, to make me a planar displacement check. Okay. We're going straight to the next play. We might as well, since we're here, it's a shorter distance to get from we here don't have to the there. Shepherds, though. Yeah. yeah, we don't have um choose yeah choose one of the two two other planes you can travel to either one um we don't have the fabric though do we no it's, it's, you guys have the black fabric no the red fabric no 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 and you can choose to either go to the higher plane or the material plane right now Can you okay, so making me? the step the easier, which was the correct choice. Well done. Um, as you do so, you guys step through to the to the plane, to the um, higher plane, and you guys see this now for the first time. It looks way more eerie than the visions you've seen of the higher plane before. You've seen a higher plane. You've seen the energy pulsing off all these bright, vibrant colors. This is eerie. Around you, you sense turmoil in all directions. But as you guys find yourself sitting in this plane, you look around at one another, and then you look back from where you just came, and you see the black rip forming behind you. Uh, did we just mesh worlds? Planes? I think something catastrophically awful just happened. Uh... I hope Bonto was happened? worth it for them. Make an intelligence check. Uh, you can do intelligence and uh, scientific expertise. If you have anything in uh, physics or any of that stuff. Who? Oh, okay. 18 um Sorry, it looks like a, a wet it looks like a, some sort of rip you're not sure exactly what kind it fascinates you it might be some kind of wormhole that's all you can gather really okay but as it appears it seems inert it doesn't seem like anything dangerous is happening it just seems like a small tear that's completely black hey sly yeah Stick your arm through it. <laughs> Which one, you asshole? The only one you have. I know. <laughs> I'm like, I was, I was about to ask her to say, do precog, and I'm about to walk through this shit and tell me what, I don't, but get in my mind, even though we're already there. <laughs> All right. Now I have full intention to just put my arm through. Uh, yeah, I'll try to try to see if anything happens to him. I think we've made a huge mistake. Let's see. You're unconscious. I'm in love. <laughs> uh, let me type in all these numbers. <clears throat> I'm rerolling that. 31. <laughs> 14 with three one, ones one, on one. your 12s. Two, 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 three, eight. four. Jesus Christ, yeah. that was low. Sorry, 31, I... however, I'll let you see yeah. a lot. Um, so, first of all, he sticks his arm in, he gets sucked inside, and you don't <laughs> see him ever again. You continue to look into the future a little bit more just to see what happens, and you do see more and more fissures appearing around the plane. The slide don't go in. <laughs> Bad things? Well, maybe, maybe not. You just kind of disappeared. Huh. And I look at Annika, and I kind of, like, I take the fabric from her. 
And I'm like, kind of slap her face a little bit. And I got. Uh, we should try to feed the fissure to the fabric. Huh. I'm going to hold on to it, though. But tell me what happens. Now I try and put the fabric over the fissure. Hmm. You put the fabric over the fissure? I, I'm mm -hmm. trying to precog it as he's giving it. Oh, 38, boy. yeah. Um, <laughs> he's like, shit. <laughs> you put the fabric over the fissure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The fissure disappears. You're not sure what happens after that. I mean, you, don't, you nothing seems to... You, you're not sure what the result is, but you know that the fissure is gone, and you guys are fine. And you know you go about your business, and you go back to the material plane. You're so not I'm sure like, what happened. Hold on, Sly. Hold on, Sly. Uh, 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 <laughs> what? Okay. So if you do that, it goes away, which is could be good, could be bad. Well, what happened when I went through it? Oh, there's you a meat disappearing. Gone. Yeah. You and were just what gone, else? and then there were more of these appearing. I just put Bonto over it. <laughs> <laughs> so you put Bonto over it in your... Bonto? Mm. Bonto. As it disappears. I kind of like look at the fabric, I'm like, that's the Bonto I remember. And I just, <laughs> I put it back over me. <laughs> you feel a little nibble? <laughs> Ow, no, Bonto, not me. <laughs> just like, <"Smack." laughs> No, no, Bonto. <laughs> so I don't know if we were supposed to do that or not, but well, <laughs> I didn't expect you guys to do it, but yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, works, works, I mean, you gave us Bonto. I was like, eat the problem. Oh. <laughs> eat the problem. That's, that's, that's our new rule. Thumb, eat the problem. Eat Bonto the problem. eats the problem. <laughs> okay. Um, so look around and like, well, this place looks a little more dreary than. I remember it. Is it remembering it if we saw it in the future? Yes. Because this is still our... Or is now. that for seeing it? Well, no, that's not... <laughs> it's no, still no. our past. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you were not related to me, Sly. <laughs> if he was, he might understand it better. I'm still unconscious, right? Yeah, you I mean, I was slapping. I was like... Psh, psh. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, not gonna you're, help you're, me you're wake fine. up. You, you sort of wake up after he slapped you a few times. Okay. You find yourself waking up in the uh, higher plane. Fuck me. That yeah, was uncomfortable. Was just, yeah, that looked. Uh, it was kind of really hurts. badass looking. Yeah, and I kind of give her the mental image of. Her. Oh God! <laughs> Why would you? Christ! Who's who's Christ? Do I know that? Anyway. Uh. Yeah, okay. Did we do it? <laughs> oh, you're all frozen. Oh, no. Who's dropping? Is it me or is it you? Oh, hello? Bad fixed hello? It. Bad fixed it. Yeah, that was weird. We all just, like, froze. Yeah. yeah I was, like, mid-sense. I was, like, oh, shit, what happened? Yeah, <laughs> no, that fixed it. That was okay, weird, though. we're back. Yeah, I was just like waiting for everybody. To, I heard heard say it, and I was like, "Oh, we froze." And I was like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. All right. Cool. I guess that works. Um. So, what do you guys want to do? Uh, You're in the higher plane right now. Yeah, so like, yeah, so now that we're, we're here, here, why are we looking here? Looking around in the area surrounding you, um, you find yourselves on this strange planet with like these mushroom-like trees. Um, this sort of mist sort of pouring through, and uh, you are aware of the feeling of. Bonto's hunger surrounding you all around. Like, he just wants to eat all of this. I probably should have brought this up before we did all that, but I really, I mean, what do we what do we do with Bonto now? Do we just, like, hand him over to Vistiel and, like, let her deal with it? Like... I mean, I'm sure that's what we already did do, right? I mean... Yeah, I'm I mean... just, I'm worried that he's he's gonna eat stuff that i mean all they really have to do is like put him around where they are now and everything uh, that shows up he gets to eat you know there's not much left but you know he could eat sylvia, it sylvia make a perception check for a second uh, 
I that. got it. They uh, can just give it to the terror. Give Bonto to the terror or give the terror yeah. to Bonto? Well, both. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I could just tell Bonto. I mean, yeah, green. like, nom, 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 but that's, nom, that's nom. the thing is we have to rein him back in afterwards. And I'm really worried that he, him leaving the Abyssal Plane is, was a really bad idea. But it was an idea that we've already apparently done. I know, but what if we didn't do it this time and then he just ate all the nobles before they could become a problem? Uh, well, yeah. uh, you sort of notice, you don't see anything in particular, but you notice that uh, Bonto's kind of hoovering behind Sly. Hoovering? <laughs> yeah, he's like a... <laughs> yeah, as, as he sort of moves around, you see plants and... Um, Ground pieces of ground just sort of <laughs> sucked up into the cloak. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just like point to it, and just stare, and just be like, I You look know. and you see like a small, like, rabbit just kind of <laughs> just get sucked no. up. Uh, yeah, that's, that's scary. Yeah, Bonto. you don't even remember it the second it's gone, but <laughs> um, well, I made a no sound now, I'm questioning why. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You guys just see the ground. Bonto's going, Bonto, Bonto, Bonto. Bonto, not everything. <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> Bonto, moderation, my dude. Moderation. Bonto, Bonto. You will get to eat all of the beautiful things and ugly things and whatever things you want. Just not right now. Patience. Patience. Yeah, like, like yes. Patience makes it more rewarding when you eat it later. Mm. Sly, Sly, share with him um, like a well cooked meal simmering. It takes time. Oh, before yeah, yeah, you yeah. Eat it. Not gonna like show him an image, a fast forwarded image of what it takes to like cook a good meal and that you it guys takes hear, process. Yeah, after this, you guys hear Bonto. But you hear, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, you guys send back to material plan. You're gonna. Try to look around in the higher plane. Uh, I mean, either way, I don't know what we want here, but we can. No, I don't know what you guys want here either. It was a smart idea to bring the fissure here so that it didn't appear in the material plane where it would have been a black hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no fissures uh, eaten. <laughs> I guess I I, I kind of like. Mentally asked Bonto, like, hey, Bonto, what did you do with that fissure? Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Was it good? Bonto. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, all right. Um, with the 25, I kind of send my mind out there to see if there's any uh, intellectual, like, minds, not just, like, animal minds, anything that has... Um, you do sense, um, you sense minds that are thinking not in words, but are thinking cognitively, like kind of like Bonto with feelings and ideas, yeah. concept. Um, and most of them are in turmoil. Mm -hmm. Um, there are moments where you see like brief, where you get brief glimpses of like passiveness and, 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 and contentment and then just a second later terror and then you sense another presence that's just ravenous hunger fury gotcha i um can i pinpoint a particular instant like a particular mind yeah sure would you want to look for one that is angry vicious or one that is content and happy um content and happy well one that's weary weary one that knows what's going on is uneasy but isn't in danger yet okay uh make a roll see if you can find him 32 32 i'll find it um yeah some distance off um to your west you sense a presence um i try and you know communicate mentally with it and emote in feelings emotions of like I'm going to show it concern, like just an emotion of like sympathy, empathy, mm -hmm. concern. 
just to see what it what it feels, what it gives me back. Acknowledgement. As if this is nothing strange to communicate this way. Just acknowledge it. Okay. And then um, I kind of show it or like perceive some way of like, you know, question like, what what are you afraid of? Like, what's um, you do this and for a second, the thing's gone. And the next second, you guys watch as a twist of white happens in front of you. And then it forms in front of you. You see a stag stepping towards you. Its neck elongated with the face of a human. Its antlers sticking out. And at the end of each antler looks like a point of starlight. Do I kill it? No. no don't. Oh, it's scary. I know. <laughs> it's it's different. I look at it and I. It's different, kinda... like the biome, different. Different, like leaf, it... different. In my mind, I kind of like say, so like, is that you? Like you? Acknowledgement. I kind of, again, give like an emotion or a the just a perception of what's going on, what's wrong, like danger question mark like it gestures and then you feel in your mind you sense what's coming for it always forever since its beginning and you see it in your mind the body of a human black pulsing muscle and the head of a stag i kind of show that image to everybody I'm like that's, Boy, that's a... even worse. <laughs> <laughs> right. I I ask Leith, like, is this this is how the higher plane was? Just like two two beings locked in in a hunt. I don't remember it well. Do you do you know if it ever it stopped? Familiar. I I look at Annika and I'm like. Ask Leaf if it's okay for me to dive into the depths of her memories. Uh. The stag looks over that way for a moment and then disappears. And then, and like a flash of black twist, you see this creature appears as its fingers dig into the ground, its back legs, cloven hooves. I just dig into the earth and you see it snarling and you see just red liquor like icker just pouring out of its nostrils and its mouth immediately get my my foxfire out its eyes like a burning red and it just what if it's looking around no it just sniffs around as it appears and just huffs and you can see as it does like sort of like a bloody mist comes pouring out of its mouth and then rips away again shit Leith, like, should we should we do something about this? Should we hunt the the evil halves that are hurting? She things? doesn't. She doesn't remember. Let me let me go into her memory. Well, I mean, we. Uh... If you're okay with that, Leith, so I can help figure out what happened. But I mean, we. But if we, uh, I don't know. I can I can block <laughs> you from seeing me go in, so you don't have to re-experience it. If you want to try. What if we... 41. Send, <laughs> what if we send the scary ones to the Abyssal Plane? Yeah, yeah. We could what if we have Bonto eat the scary ones? Yeah, I was about to say, I could just have Bonto eat them, but first let me figure out what's going on. So the 41, I try and crack the code of Leafs. Um, okay, I will give you some pieces of information. Everybody else, mute. <laughs> What if he says he's going to just share it with us? Because I want to give him the option. <laughs> yeah, this okay. is a solo trip right now. but Okay. So, um, when you de- delve deep, deep, deep into her memory to where she was just a primordial, or not, yeah, she is a primordial beast, but existent on this plane, you see that this is sort of a proving ground for all primordial beasts. And is the nature of these creatures to be born as a duality. This entire plane is that of duality. Good and evil, per se. 
there is the hunt and the hunted, and sometimes the hunted becomes victorious. Slays the one that hunts it. They're evenly matched, evenly killed, but they create balance. This world is considered in balance in and of itself. But if one ever won over the other, and it's gone from that plane, it returns to either the primordial plane, it drops to the material plane, it extends or gets eaten by the abyss. But this place is a battleground. A balance of two power. I'm just saying the one that loses, if one loses, they go back to their original plane? If one wins, oh, if one the one wins. that loses is dead, is gone. Becomes energy for the plane. Gotcha. Everything else returns to its other world. Or descends to the material plane. To become creatures of legend. Alright. <clears throat> okay. I kind of take that in. Like, huh. Hey, Bonto. You think those, uh, you can target this, those creatures? The human, the ones that look like us, but with deer weird faces? You feel your own mind being probed as he tries to understand what you mean. I give him the image of that. They're thing, not all like, like that. Like they're they're all opposing entities, right? Gotcha. I mean, like I can entities. I can share yeah, the, the, the image and... of like the evil leaf. Yeah. What so he has two is? images to look at and compare of like these ones, and I show him the good one. I'm like, not these ones. Do you think we could just like weaken one? I'd li I'd like to you know take a look at one. Uh, Before you know, we just exterminate them. Do we? I mean, is is, but is that the right thing to do? What happens if we kill them all? What happens this if we don't? Plane becomes vacant, essentially. If if we kill all of those things, not if if we kill the either half, it becomes vacant. So they they have to fight forever. To that's just uh, essentially. But it's, so if the plane becomes vacant, maybe that gives, I mean, that's, that's what it was when we visited before. And maybe that gives the others room to come here yeah. to, I don't, I don't know what's the right thing. What are we? Obviously what we did do is either we, or we let Bonto eat all the bad ones. Right. And it cleaned the plane out for our ancestors to come in and, and, and inhabit, inhabit it. And we I... need that to happen for us to be born. But maybe we can find a different solution. Right. So, I mean, and their whole isolation. their whole thing is that they want to survive the end of their universe. So they hop planes to then rejoin the universe on the other side when it expands and creates a new one again. And we are descended from them. And they, they are the reason that we exist in the new universe. But we could... Because we're facing the same thing in our own reality, time. Isn't there something to be said for just letting yourself die out with the universe? And letting something else happen when it comes back? As, oh. as much as that ideology might be good to you, the other ancestors of you... Think about the world that the Defiler will create, because he's not going to just sit down and let things happen. No, I know. That's... I mean, I don't want him to survive anything at all. He never should have been born in the first place, and that's kind of... I'm... I'm we have an immense responsibility right now. If, if we could prevent the nobles from ever happening, even if it meant preventing ourselves prevent from ever us, happening... Uh, but we also, that's to say that they wouldn't find an alternative route that we don't know about because this is what we did. Right, and, the, and, and if we're going in the whole you know, tunnel of what ifs, 
if we don't do these things, what if the universe is just done? Is Either there... we do things that we can consider bad, but the universe as a whole continues, or just done. Nothing. Basically, what you're questioning and what you're saying and asking is potentially us being in charge of whether we think the rest of the universe of its history, the future ones without us, the ones like if there was one in between us ever be existing is what you're saying. It's kind of like never being born. I mean, none of us remember that we wouldn't we, know what we, we were missing. We wouldn't know it, but we know it. And who's to say that the time things you guys don't remember. <laughs> just kind of looks at all of you. And who's to say that? If we allow this to happen, <laughs> who's to say that if we allow this to happen, when we go back to our time, that we just end up being alive into a nothing, or that we simply cease to exist because we were never. I, I don't mean, think. I I'm just. Like that. I mean. No, you, it's just Leo hovering through space. This is this is. <laughs> Leo's just like, I hate you guys. <laughs> this is I get this is just what we're 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 at the the cusp of this decision right now, right? So we wipe out this plane and create room for the Proteans to come into it and um, as populate. As you guys are talking, you see uh, what looks similar to a black dragon slithering through the trees. I just <laughs> like, look at on, like, on my guard. Look the point is whether we do this or not they will probably find a way sure i want to catch one when they go in in all reality what ends up happening in my mind is this is the proving ground plane we take this proving ground plane away and now the material plane slash abyssal plane becomes the battlefield i start following essentially the material (laughs) plane becomes the new proving ground and battlefield I mean, it already that's what's kind going of on is. Right now. Exactly. So it's a balance of universal planes and powers. Like you take out the proving ground from one plane, and it's going to become a different plane, just with different rules. I. <clears throat> I know no one's going to agree with me anyway, but I think we should put Fonto back and leave the planes alone. It depends on what your theory of time is. If we put Bonto back and they never get Bonto, which they might just get Bonto anyways without our help. Right, and uh, maybe maybe Bonto's not what maybe Bonto wouldn't keep the nobles from happening. Maybe like you said, they would find another way, the same way our ancestors would find another way to survive. But um, but what I'm saying is, I, what what my, happens is if we don't have Bonto, Bonto actually saved our asses quite a few times. But if the nobles don't become a threat, then he wouldn't need to. But what if they still do, and now we just don't have Bonto? And we needed him. That's, I mean, <laughs> There's we... a reason why Leo followed the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is, this is oh, happening yeah, in our heads, the right? You're so... following the dragon, you sort of like run off chasing it, as it slithers through the trees. It's like weird, creepy little lanky, like skeletal dragon. And you see this like beautiful dragon on the other side, this white dragon, and it leaps upon it, and you watch as they fucking two battles duke it out. We should we should just like in our hey, hey Leo, can you <laughs> precog what happens if we put Bonto back? Hold on, hold on, I'm busy. <laughs> Doing what? I, I, I kind of see what he's seeing like through his eyes. I'm like, God damn it! So <laughs> literally just watching, just paint the picture in your own head. You watch yeah. two dragons fight. Yeah. Right? No, 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 I'm I'm hoping. You they, guys see them run. like little flashes of light. Cause I have a I have a plan that I want to try. Yeah. Uh, eventually, one of the dragons' wings take off, and they take off into the sky. Dang. I was hoping they'd go again like the, uh, the other one. Nope, that was just a thing that they do. It's Not like all the, the creatures do the same. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Leaf brand too. She didn't. Yeah. Do, no, just kind of watch like stuff. Dang it! Why didn't you turn into a of whatever why didn't you disapparate oh. <laughs> well no i was gonna i was gonna try and freeze them as soon as they went mm-hmm. like small oh yeah cool that'd have been weird <laughs> stick a rock inside see if they have a rock in their belly when they appear <laughs> inside no <laughs> i was right. then going to encapsulate them and pull them into me <laughs> <laughs> 
Because they're energy. They are energy. Yeah. So I just kind of. You guys, as you're sitting there, you know, Leo comes sauntering back, depressed. You guys yeah, hear like, and you like feel the ground start to shake, and like you know, little white and black birds chasing each other start flying away. Um, and you see like basically a mountain of like pure white energy, just like. The ground begins to shake, walking sort of nearish your direction. Kind of looking, do I see? Is there is a black one following it? Oh, uh, you can't tell from 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 where you are because you see a white mountain moving towards you. Yeah, <laughs> I look at Bonto and I'm like, Bonto. While this one's here, look for the black version of that one and eat it. It's really big, probably tasty. And I just like throw Bonto in the air. You just throw him in the air. Yeah. Yeah, make a persuasion check to see if he, you can actually convince him not to eat the white one. <laughs> oh, <God damn. laughs> I mean, but that's the thing. If he eats the black one, then the white one dies, right? Oh, Eventually. God. So. Seventeen. No, no, the black. The <laughs> he black just one flies through the air, and then you guys watch, and then the whole white mountain just goes. <laughs> I'm gonna rewind Bonto. <laughs> <laughs> rewind time on Bonto. <laughs> And Sly's like, go eat the white. <laughs> I'm just grab Sly, and I'm just gonna share the mental image. And I'm like, just share that with Bonto, cause he's not gonna get to eat the white one. And then I, I'm a, like midway throw in, I, I hold on. I'm like, Bonto, were you gonna eat the white one? Put him back on. Bonto, we gotta develop trust, buddy. Nibbles, nibbles, nibbles. <laughs> Stop it! No. Trust, Bonto, trust. I show him a picture of cooking meat again. <laughs> okay. So, what do you guys want to do? You can just go back to the material plane or you can dick around with the. I'm having uh, an existential crisis here. <laughs> I want to catch one. Because I don't. Here, I don't want the plane to become vacant. The whole point of killing the black ones is to save the white ones, like Leith. I'm but not if, going to kill the black one. But well, he did but, actually tell you guys what happens. When well, he's black. he said it becomes vacant. So now I'm assuming like we upset the balance and everything just dies off. No. But if you asked me the question, I'd give you the answer. Well, in my, I mean, you can hear my thoughts. Annika's having all these thoughts, just like I don't I'm want... like. Look, Annika, this is a battleground. What happens when a team wins? They leave. They, have a they leave. Exactly. So where do they go? These, these what, beasts, what happens? These beasts that are here aren't from this plane. They inhabit this plane as a battle right to ascend to their plane. If so, we kill all the baddies, which are essentially probably abyssal, since they got run out of their home by a Bonto? good old buddy back here, uh, they would just die. But then the good beasts, or what we think of as hopefully good, the primordial beasts will go back to the primordial realm, and this plane would be vacant, kind of like the abyssal plane is right now. Do the, is, is going... Okay. So we do save so they, them, they but they stay is, alive. Is going just, back to the primordial plane a good thing or not? Like, I don't know. Uh, it's, we're, we're messing with things that sorry. we really don't understand here. I just look at Sylvia and I'm like, sorry I'm about to say this, but <clears throat> the other scary thing is something I had gotten told from a higher being was primordials are never to be trusted. So, I don't know if that pertains to their beasts. I don't know if they have people like we would think of as people controlling the primordial plane or the hierarchy, but they said no matter how benevolent they might seem, never trust a primordial because in the end they always want the same thing. Maybe not now, but always later. Never mind, Ponto, eat everything. <laughs> hey. Ponto? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be all the primordials. There's still primordials in the primordial plane, and there's still probably abyssal creatures in the abyss hey, uh, somewhere. The whole Naya. reason... Do you remember what you've learned about Lyra and about primordial beasts? Do you remember any of that? Uh, isn't she, like, half primordial? Yeah, she is. But you know that when she was born, there exists always a duality. You remember? She had... So the nightmare... Was her evil side? 
was the dark version and then yeah. the leviathan that was the power source for the biome right that was the good side so even she had with her birth created those two primordial beasts So essentially, she's a primordial being, and she... And, and what you'd notice, what you should know now, is that uh, the Nightmare got tamed. She wears the Nightmare. Yeah. And uh, so, also, the Leviathan is also alive still. But not yeah. tamed. Well, not really. Not, not not tamed. Yeah, it's not not tamed. But Crazy. that's. But I just want you to know that you would actually have quite a bit of insight in this because of Lyra. Well, and isn't um, Sly's other person a primordial? No, he's me like meta or right before meta. No, oh, he's primordial. Oh, he is primordial. Right. Yeah, Parnassus. Master of Minds is is primordial, yeah. which tells you something. Yeah, that's the kind of shit we're looking at. Is that Master of Minds also has two primordial beasts that exist because of his existence somewhere? Right. So one. I I'm gonna say. I I go to him real quick, and I'm like, "Is your beast in the battlegrounds right now?" No. Well, I mean, like in this time, not like right now, right now, obviously. No. Do you have two beasts? Of course. Is that like a normal primordial thing to have two beasts? Like every like, it you have to, so to say. It's like having two hearts. Oh, right. You're human. It's like your heart. <laughs> so if your two beasts die, you die. If both beasts were slain, I would be weakened. It would be sad. Oh, well, I, want to, I want to get you your beast, buddy. But most primordial, unable to control the power of both beasts, send them. Yeah. They send them here? To decide amongst themselves but I would be significantly more well less myself if one of the beasts would die which is why I keep both so I can keep a nice balanced even mind now abyssal beast primordial beast is that what this is, or just they're both primordial beasts, just one's good, one's evil? Well, one's nicer, one's meaner. They're two sides of the same coin. They're neither good nor bad, they just are what they are. They can't stand each other, if that's your question. But they don't really care about anything else. That's why the other beasts haven't attacked us. They're mm -hmm. just trying to hunt the other them. Because if the other them is destroyed, then they return. Or descent. Wherever it is they go. My beasts, on the other hand, I simply split them up. So I am me, and they get to live. So if we took out half of all these beasts, there would be a lot of pissed off primordials. I want to know about pissed off, but different primordials. Mm -hmm. What becomes of your beast? Not normally that personal. It's not like it's you. It's just yeah. harbors a certain part of the way you think. And it's Let's bound say, to happen anyways. That's why they're here, right? For Let's one say the way. dark side of the coin were to die, I would become much more benevolent. As the positive energy would be overwhelming within me. Well the other way around. <laughs> can never remember these things. <laughs> right. So, messing with shit that's your kind of stuff, what do you recommend we do? Because this is your kind of shit that we're fucking up. No, I say leave it alone. Go back to where you're supposed to be. And stop fucking with my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Vanessa's as I always, tell you what to do because then you'll do it, and this won't be any fun anymore. You know your power doesn't work in my mind. 
because you're telling yourself to do something. Or does it? And he's just he just <laughs> right. luring you yeah, into a false probably. sense of security. Yeah. <laughs> Tells you to trip on you and fall on your face. Thud. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> don't test me, Sly. <laughs> Not trying to. But uh, one of these days, since we can't really detach, we'll go to the primordial plane and you'll get to see your, at least one of your beasts. I don't know. Try and visit them. Family reunion. Yeah, it'll we'll happen be... very soon. That's, I don't know if that's comforting or scary, but thank you. <laughs> I go back to my, you know what, guys? I think we should just let things do their course. I think we should catch two of them. <sighs> I'm not well, opposed we are, to that. We already caught Leith. <laughs> like, we don't yeah. have anything to necessarily catch it with except your blood, which is ill. Okay. I mean, are you, you guys, what are you guys doing? I want you guys to do something, because uh, let's move on. I would like I to get... take out the evil side. Huh? She wants to kill all the evil ones. The you want to kill there. all the evil ones? Yeah, I mean, if we, could, if we could actually get Bonto to commit to that, then, you know, Do you sure. guys want to do that? I just want to know. That, that's I'm my, like, that's I'm like, my you're, vote. Now you're changing your tune. At first you're like, we should just well, cause I didn't... the first die. Eh. No, I mean, now that was like... before you explained to me that they go back to the primordial plane. And, like, but if... we don't necessarily know the primordial beasts are inherent like they seem nicer i just know that they're being hunted here and that like leith's fight with her other half was like really brutal and stuff and if we hadn't like she i mean i guess she yeah, wouldn't have died to but death. maybe yeah. yeah so like I, that's maybe awful. you should have captured the other one and you'd have stronger armor right well i mean yeah maybe but that's you know <laughs> i don't uh, so well, it's like our own struggle that. against the nobles with the 20, 23, I try to inhabit uh, the mind of an, a, uh, a vicious one. Just one of the closest vicious ones that's okay. fair in size. <clears throat> fair in size? Yeah. Um, like a little, uh, D6. Let me go to my little list I got here. Two. Yeah. Let me go to my little list here. Yeah. Speaking of which, that rabbit that uh, you guys don't remember that Bonto ate. You rolled a two? Mm -hmm. so the, 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 the other rabbit went. Uh, uh, sorry, you actually, you actually could have rolled that on a roll a d12 because there's actually 12. Two. Two. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, you see, you sense one that's pretty, pretty decent size nearby. Not massive, but pretty large. Um, and it is definitely hunting its other. No. So, try and go into its mind. And I'm which like, one? hey, uh, the, the no, vicious which mind? The vicious mind. Which one? You just said I sensed one. Did I sense more than you one? You sense that there's a dark entity that way. Which one of its minds? Fuck. <laughs> um, it's, it's the mind that listens to, like, reason. Like the cognitive mind. Not All the, right, make a roll and see if you can pick that one up. Not the primal mind. All right, what am I rolling? Um, the same thing. Your number one. Oh. Uh, no, it would be D six if you were just picking a random one. No, wait. Am I rolling a D six or D twelve? <laughs> no, this is not a D twelve D six. This is roll your um, psionics. Psionics, yeah. Oh, okay. So try forty four. Forty four. Yeah, you suss out the most reasonable one. I'm like, hey, buddy. Would you uh, want to hunt other things, maybe? More fun prey? Make a persuasion check. Next thing we know. What the fuck? Hold on. Sure, we're going to go with 23 D12. <laughs> <detail. laughs> nope, we're done. He rolled 130. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Let's go onto the things. Let's go all of the things. Mass. <laughs> Twenty. Twenty. You see that there's like a conversation, sort of a battle of wills <laughs> happening right now, and then sort of feel the presence turning your direction. After a little bit, you guys see the trees start to part. 
and you see the face of a dragon come out. Oh, God. <laughs> and then you see another face of a dragon come out. And you see another, and another, and another. Fucking Hydra. Around the trees as a Hydra appears in front of you. <laughs> Black <laughs> eyes burning. Dude, seriously, I've got a, a list of 12 right here. Lion, Hydra, <laughs> uh, Hind Bear, um, Unicorn, and Horses. Uh, Dang it, why um, wasn't it the birds, lion? Birds, bull. Right? I wanted something more simple. Fuck. Uh, oh, but this is cool, too. That one. If it works, um, this is cool. Hound. Yeah, there's like a whole list over here. And I, I talked to him like, look, I know you're here because your primordial counterpart he, humanoid couldn't handle you. And he sent you away. But, uh, I think we would have a lot of fun together. Hunting, killing things. You see, like, tongues kind of coming out? And you see, uh, one of the heads sort of breathes out a little bit of ice cold air, and the one sort of poof, spark of lightning. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna use. Three of my power points. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Give me one. All right, I'm gonna roll sixty twelve, and if you beat what they said, sixty twelve. Sixty twelve. The fuck? That's nine. Yeah. Mm. That's thirteen. That's twenty-three. It's twenty-nine. You lose. They all rear up and... You guys getting ready to dodge, or are you going to take a blast from six different types of energy from these hydras? I, I go to Parnassus and I'm like, hey, you know what I'm trying to do here. Please just allow this. Please just tell them. You're in my mind, which means I'm in their mind. Just tell Stop them that. to listen. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> on all of it. Uh, uh, I, do, I, I do another. Uh, I use more of my, uh, the rest of my power points. Twenty six. Twenty six. Yeah. He just goes. Mm -hmm. A fair effort. You didn't actually beat him, but he's like, yeah. it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> not a bad idea. No, it's, it's, not, it's not a bad attempt to persuade no. him. <laughs> I'm like, no, dude, seriously, it'll be so much fun. You know this will be so much fun. So you guys just feel like a voice come out of the back of your throat. And it says, sit. And you guys watch as the thing just sits down and the breath <laughs> settles. Okay. Should we just go, I guess? Bye. What were you trying to do? Uh, nothing. I wasn't doing anything. It just came out of nowhere and tried to sniff us and stuff. Yeah, because that's what all the other ones have done. Yeah, I don't know. It was weird. Really weird. So then I try to find the uh, good version of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can sense it miles and miles away. Still running from the Hydra. <laughs> you. I, I sense the, the good version of it, and I... With a 30, I try and get to the most reasonable one. Okay, no, so here's what happens. Are you guys leaving <laughs> the plane? Sylvia, are you taking them away, or what are you guys doing? I mean, Sylvia was kind of just waiting to see what they wanted. <laughs> I mean, we, the... we were almost about to get attacked by this giant Hydra <laughs> thing because I'm, I'm gonna, Sly's I'm fucking around, so... It. I'm still... Leo has said, said um, I'm trying to capture So the mastermind says, out. no, no, you can't have the good one. And he says, become. And the voice comes out of Sly forcefully. And you see the thing goes. And you see all the head dragon's heads start twisting in towards Sly. And you see they sort of okay. shrink down. And they just form onto his arm. He's got this big black arm. And each of his fingers. <laughs> head. Talk about my new arm? Yeah. <laughs> So now my, my new arm is a fucking Hydra hand. I have six fingers. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and yeah, that's what I hated about it, because you rolled a fucking Hydra. I'm like, roll something else. That's <laughs> fucking Sylvia's thing. But nope. <laughs> roll two again. 
Twinsies. <laughs> okay. So I just kind of like look down at my hand, like, huh. Uh. And I gotta like do this to like Sylvia <laughs> or to Annika. I'm like, ooh. What? Hey. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I was hoping you're gonna do it to me, honestly. Well, you guys already knew that Primordial oh. <laughs> could do that, right? You you did that with the Leviathan. Yeah, he became the bracelet. He became the bracelet. They can become any shape they want to be. <sighs> they can take on the form of a regalia. So. Yeah. But what so if we did that like, for all the evil ones instead of killing I, them? We... I have, like, full control over it, yeah? Like, I, just, I can do it's what I want. It's just your hand. Yeah. Yeah. It's just... So I try to, like, I point one finger at a direction, like, the fire okay. one. Like, beep. Okay, right. so here's, here's the way it, it, it's actually going to work, okay? It's just um, your play. palm is one, and each okay. of your fingers is another. So seven total, or six oh, still six. total? Okay. You don't have seven. F you don't have six fingers. Okay. You still have five fingers. Well, you know, or I could just make it six fingers. You want it to be six fingers? You want to be a six-fingered man? <laughs> That's weird. Nah, we'll just keep it palm, and then... <laughs> you going to be the Princess Bride? I'm looking for a six-fingered man. <laughs> Look for a six-fingered man. <laughs> <laughs> you killed my father. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I want six figures. Sorry. Um, I think I'm going to toy out my hero. Uh, yeah, so um, one of them is lightning. One of them is acid. One of them is fire. Um, one of them is cold breath. One of them is... Um, what's the one I'm missing? Necrotic. It's like necrotic ray kind of shit. And then the last one is just going to be a pure blast of energy. Nah. Okay. Necrotic, energy, fire, ice, acid, and what? Lightning. Lightning, yeah. Like, oh shit, that kind of go in my mind, like, bro, thank you. Oh, don't thank me. I can't wait till it goes rampant and eats the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right, I'm like I, I start, you know, whew, this feels good. I have an arm again. Let's go. That's like biting your other hand. <laughs> I'm like, stop it. <laughs> I, <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, I, uh, well, I was gonna let it happen just because you got the master of minds. Of course, he could make it happen. He's got control over other primordial beasts. Why wouldn't he? Sure. That's... <laughs> Man, now I really want to go capture two of them. That doesn't help. That did not help Leo I, at all. Be like, I all still right, want to wipe out the the evil ones, because we then we get to say who, you know, who survives the battle. If, if yeah, they're all this was end supposed to be twenty eventually. minutes out of the session. Was the uh, I know uh, now the, we the we're just and it's been the whole the whole session. session. So I'm like, all right, let's take a vote. <clears throat> Annika wants to kill all the bad ones or the vicious ones. We don't know what's actually good or evil. We just know there's a hunter. But and a hunter. like I said, it's it's like us and the nobles. We think the nobles are evil. <laughs> they don't think they're evil, but we we do. And I'm I'm siding uh -oh. with the passive primordials like Leith because she's my friend, and I don't want <clears throat> other people, things, creatures like her to be brutally murdered by their counterparts. All right, I kind of untie Bonto, and I'm like, all right, Bonto, are you gonna <laughs> do it this time? And this is a lot of food. It's been cooking for a while. Primordial food. But only the vicious ones were cooking. The other ones were just kind of sitting there. You going after the cooked food, Bonto? Bonto. Do I get a sense of yes or like of assurance or of, of insight check? Is he lying? Yeah. <laughs> insight is, is he is he Bonto or is he Bonto? Yeah, is he Bontoing Bonto. or? Mike, give me two Bontos for yes, one Bonto for no. <laughs> Start eating your back. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to clean answer, just do what you're going to do. <laughs> we can always wind it back again. <laughs> no. Mike, all right, people, you know what to do. Now, like, go in the motion. Stop to <laughs> 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 On okay. everything, just like, whoop, 
<laughs> Time has stopped. You used your overclock, right? No, I, I just like I just wanted to use just normal stop oh, time. Oh well, that's it's a big ass to stop time of a whole plane. In that case, then yeah, I'll use my overclock since we're making this yeah, such a yeah, long just... piece of this episode. <laughs> I want to go see what other animals are around before he throws the thing, like the duality. Right. You took a, like, you whatever. Took a little trip. You find yeah. creatures of all shapes and sizes. Some of them are even more like humans, and that's just on this planet. There's a whole fucking plane here. It's just like, oh shit! I want to try and grab the two lions. The lions? Yeah. <laughs> I just I want to like completely like grab them and bring uh, them back you find and a couple them. you you find uh there is there is a lion um I know I met it a little black bit. he's a black ma maned lion and then there's also a tiger that's pure white those are the two duels of that yeah I'm going to I'm going to try and do both of them Okay, well, time stopped. What are you doing to him? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna by the way, as you're doing this, Shanti walks up, she's like she looks really young, and she's just like, "What you doing, Uncle Leo?" <laughs> he got an arm. <laughs> God damn it! I mean, but what what are you doing? Like, what's with the? What's your plan here? <laughs> I, I was gonna try and get us stuff. I really oh. wanted to take them back so we could study them, so we could actually know whether we need to get rid of them or not. You know what's crazy? This is the only time he's ever gotten a Hydra for our harm. This is the only time. What did he get the other time? He just, like, made an arm. Hmm. So I don't even... I have no idea. I haven't watched this whole one play out yet. But all I know is that this is the only time he's ever had that for our arm. Could mean nothing. <laughs> Does that mean we're stuck on, like, a single... Pretty track much, now? yeah. This oh. is this is the last track now. Oh, so did he fuck up? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ask ask the other me later. Right now, this is as far as I've seen. This is you know, you guys are on the right path. You've beaten out a lot of the other ones. But yeah, it's um, let's just see what happens. I guess this is uh, it or not it. But re realistically, I wanted to catch one of each so that we could study them at least temporarily to know whether we should kill yeah i just want to know what your plan is yeah that that was my plan was to use my ability to like she's just like twisting the parasol she's just like yeah but how are you gonna get them oh no i hadn't <laughs> thought that far <laughs> I mean, blood leash. And he's just like, that's a, that's a, that's a lion. And that's a tiger. And they don't like each other. And you're a person who, in my experience, has very little combat prowess. Arguably, I'm not a person. Just, just throwing that out there. Ah, uh, that's true. <laughs> no argument with the little combat prowess, though. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, I am not a person. <laughs> anymore. I'm just saying, I'm curious to see what your plan is here. I mean, they're not going to be able to do much to me either. Yeah. All right. So, battle of attrition. Time's on my side, arguably. Yeah. <laughs> just start throwing waves and waves of Leo at them. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, that, and I was just gonna do scar <laughs> evisceration, so they couldn't do anything. Oh. <laughs> so they literally would be like, "Eh, eh. eh. You I'd, be like, me. I'd be like, we can do this forever, or you can work with me." All right. So uh, yeah. So I just want to know what your plan is to capture them. Yeah. yeah so, no, the, the idea was to try and use the the blood stuff to like bind them, to like keep me away from them, right? All right. So um, you you bind them in blood. They're still frozen yeah. in time, and you start dragging them back to where you were. Yes. Uh, it takes you it takes you about a day. That's fine. Yeah. When I'm, you I mean, Shanti's just walking with you, chatting the whole way. <laughs> it's just like, it's, like, it's been a whole day just walking through the frozen uh, plane, and you do see things that are still moving, that are just unaffected by time. Mm-hmm. Just still fighting each other, and things that you never saw would have seen before because 
they're entities that move outside of time. That's that's interesting. But uh, you make your way um, back to the rest, and whenever you're ready to restart time, you got a lion and a tiger just like sitting there, claws like this, face them in the opposite directions, probably. Yeah, I'm gonna face them in the opposite direction. <laughs> And, and then, just, and then I'll, they'll come back and be like, "I got him!" <laughs> so you unstop time, and you guys look and just, <laughs> and just Whoa. And they just like roar out claws, like like flashing in all sorts of directions, and then they're just kind of like, "Don't eat it!" To the ground. And I just released Bato. <laughs> That's okay. The heave and, throat, you're not. I put. I'm not. I'm. A, I went away from where you're throwing. Okay. I'm still like, uh, but see at the time, I'd already threw him in the air. I thought that's what you were gonna do. Now Bato's released. That's fine. He's going that way. So Bonto goes. We need, we need him to kill just one half, you dick. And you guys watch as it slightly gets bigger. The cloth gets bigger and bigger. And the next thing you know, it's just nothing. And you guys see flashes of little green fissures all around you. I think we made a mistake. <laughs> Leo, then... undo it. And then, like, a few minutes later, just... I'm busy! <laughs> little black cloth just lazily comes back. Uh, Sly? All right. He was supposed to tell, like, stop me. But instead, he went to go catch some kitty cats. So that's not on me. And you wanted me to do this. Now, I've got some bad news for you there, Leo. They're One both gone. gone. <laughs> uh, punch a sly. Leo, undo it. <laughs> I don't think Just... I can undo that much. That was <laughs> no. the whole point, though. Yeah. <laughs> if he had done, like, one or two at a time, I can undo it. But that was, like... A lot of shit. He just because ate. you were being selfish. You just what said he just said happened? eat all of them, and so I said no. I no. Just, he I just said, made. Yeah. No, yeah. He said, he said eat the eat the evil ones. They had a whole and conversation. What makes, you, what makes you think that he just ate the he just that he ate everything? What makes you think he didn't just eat the evil ones? Can we Sly? Can you sense the? Well, I throw your mind out because they I wouldn't be able to if he ate all the bad ones all the good ones went back to their perspective plane if he ate Gosh. everything They're all dead. I Leo. Can gotta... you like retro cog from like Can you can you see what happens? <laughs> this is the best. You guys are never gonna know <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <laughs> Leo just like sits down, like get in. He or became can you full plane sized and eat you... everything that wasn't you guys that he was maybe, can... may or maybe or maybe not supposed to eat. Can you get inside Bonto's head and see what he did? Can you can you feel? Bonto. <laughs> I'm like, God damn. so I go I, with a 37. I try and replay his memory of what he just did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think he has memory. <laughs> <laughs> I think he literally just lives in the... <laughs> You're damn fucking straight. <laughs> well, it's done now. Like, I think he has understanding of situation, which is him being here, but I don't think he really has memory of his last actions. We. So I have no idea. This whole day, I wish I could take back this entire day. <laughs> So do I. I wish that in real life I could take back this entire day. <laughs> Can we just press a reset button? On the whole Leo, time. Leo, just reset uh, button. Undo. Just go back. Just... <laughs> Leo's just like, all right, all right. No, you we can't. Time. No, no, you can't. You can't. Just go back. I'm like, uh, this is Sylvia's fault. She brought us here no, first. No <laughs> yeah, blame Sylvia for this. Yeah. You, future Leo's gonna go use the ship and appear before we left initially. Yeah, let's, like, that's no, what no, we no, do. No, 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 go no, back. No, no, no. <laughs> that's what we're doing, guys. Back to the ship. Let's go. As soon as we get back to this plane, Ross was like, there was another version of you that just kept saying, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. You guys weren't there, and he just, yeah. It's too late. Oh, so boy. I kind of look at Bonto and I'm like, you happy with yourself, Bonto? He did what you told him to do. Well, Maybe. we don't know. You told him to eat. 
But he's definitely full for now. So there's that. Christ. Let's, let's, let's a, go back I don't think and like a let's planer meal in a while. Let's just go back and let Vistiel figure out. Yeah, first got to the Abyss plane. Yeah, let's get back home or (laughs) wherever. Let's give Uh, somebody else the responsibility for all this nonsense. (laughs) So you guys are returning to the material plane? Yeah, before we do, just a a little like intellectual nugget with Bonto since I'm connected with them. I just try and feed him a lot of information and words to digest. Uh, for future him to maybe <laughs> <laughs> understand. I okay, like I, I put, feeding him words I, constantly. Yeah, I put to, I put well, I, I put together oh, like pictures of like me being like this, and me and putting like anger, and then me smiling and like happy. So he has like Bonto. picture to word. <laughs> okay, you give him emotional <laughs> flashcards. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. Sylvia, roll for us. Get us get us off this now vacant plane. We're, yeah. Ugh. So you guys do we made some big decisions about the planar order. Yeah, we did, but I mean it was probably gonna happen yeah. anyway, either way. I to material plane, Sylvia. More. Ugh. Let's go higher. I'm just kidding. <laughs> since since when is it to, Leo's could, the one if that's you wanted like to right now, you could we, easily go to the primordial plane, yeah. Well, hopefully. Oh, we could next. go pop in and check and see if the beasts survive. Well, hopefully with the red fabric we can do that. But that's true. We, we should. We should. Yeah, with we gotta 36, go back. With the 36, she's got enough threshold to just quickly grab it and just be straight up on the uh, primordial plane. Yeah. Oh well, no shit. Then do that. Yeah. Okay. Grab it, Sylvia. Grab the the stuff. So you guys, you guys see Sylvia just go, and there's a Leo going, no, 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 no. <laughs> 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 and then you <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh, this game. Well, so now we're on the primordial plane, correct? <coughs> Just kind of look around. <laughs> you guys, poof. Uh. Your feet touch something, and you see the ripple going across the ground, and the black surrounding you, and the high chair. Welcome back. It's good to see you all again. Is it the Keeper of Souls? The Keeper of Souls with his legs crossed one over the next. I hate this place. Did a yeah. bunch of did a bunch of beasts like, you know, the, the white primordial beasts, did a bunch of those just recently come back here? Your concept of time is very different than ours. Well, I mean, did they did they come back? Was there a like at, an your... influx? <clears throat> yeah, at one point did you have a really large influx of beasts oh yes there was a great calamity all the abyssal primordial beasts or just straight primordial beasts or like vicious you're talking about the great fissure um why are you here this time we want to know what happened with the great fissure oh well information isn't free much like anything else what do you want hmm You plan on having any children? No, but if I did, you could you could have that if that's what you're asking. Hmm. I rumble still skin or whatever. Oh well, I am the keeper of souls. Might be nice to have a soul of one of yours. Did the calamity you... help or hurt you? Oh, it does no such thing. It just shifted everyone in a slightly darker direction. Darker. Shit. Well, of course, you eliminated the excess of negative energy controlled by the dark primordial beast, leading to that darkness being returned to their originators, causing an unbalance. So, so the, Wait, so the white so when, ones when... are still here? So you're talking about the great primordial beasts that now inhabit both the material and the celestial, or even some here residing in the primordial plane. But yes, you eliminated, uh, if that was you, <laughs> you caused quite a bit of trouble. Reset! <laughs> Reset! This is, I mean, we don't, we, we're fucking with things we don't understand. This is, you know, great. I tried. It's fine. It was quite entertaining, and I even have the soul of a few primordials now. So I'm confused. Would we killed 
in theory, if, that's what if, we're supposed to. If if he killed all the bad ones, the bad ones are the ones that return to their masters. The bad ones, their essence, their hatred, return yes to the primordials. So, so we needed to kill the good ones, and they would have returned. Created and unleashed many evil entities into the universe. So they we really. So we released beneficial entities, but we made you people less kind. Well, I'm not one of the stupid primordials that let his two halves battle it out on some lesser plane. No, I uh, keep them here with me. Oh, yeah, I should have mentioned that, too. The only reason they were there is because the primordials couldn't contain them. So they're, I guess, lesser primordials anyways. Yeah. So... I see you brought one with you. So the primordials themselves oh. now are darker... But their light beasts are still. Yes, there's quite, been quite a extant. bit of megalomania. Um, is there? I mean, we caused the situation. Is there some way we can uh, improve it? Oh no, it's done. Is done. Gotcha. So, we meant to just go to the primordial plane to check it out. Uh, we're here. Is this the gateway? Like, to is there... enter the primordial plane or? Is there I'm a sorry. specific primordial that is like really getting on your nerves that you would just love to get rid of? Hmm. Ah, Master of Minds would be one that comes to mind. And just looks its way. <laughs> like, huh, have you talked to him in a while? He keeps making me do things that I don't want to do. Wait, still? And then Time Master of Minds says, shh. <laughs> 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 says, uh, anyways what are you here for what deal are we making this time we well, would like uh, you to get in a piece of cloth me <laughs> to get into a piece of cloth no thank you are you sure of course now if you want something of me what would happen if the primordial plane did not have the keeper of souls anymore just curious because we could have Parnassus tell him to get into the cloth <laughs> Or, or something, <laughs> I don't know, a little bit more interesting, you could take Kentro. Who's that? I, I talked to Pernas real quick. I'm like, who's more interesting, Keeper of Souls or Kentro? Um, Kentro is Keeper of Souls, actually, sort of in a way. How does that work? Oh, I can't hear. Yeah, you can't <laughs> hear that. Primordial <laughs> Beast. Ah, oh, one of his halves. Yes, the one he keeps with him. Guard dog, of so guard dog of souls, in a way. That sounds actually pretty cool. Well, non-emphasis on the dog part. And he looks at you for a second and says, Are you talking to the Master of Minds right now? I see the machinations going through your mind, and I do sense mm -hmm. primordial inside of you. Uh, I, who, I don't even know who that... What? <laughs> Why would I... You think I could contain such a... You can't lie to the master of my or the sure I can lie to the keeper of souls all day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we can lie to him. I can lie to the keeper of souls as much as I would like. Anyways, uh, so he's like, you, but if you're interested in Kentro, and then he gestures, and you see out of the black ichor that is the ground, this thing starts to rise, and you see this red hood start rising, like a blood red hood rising from the ground. And you can see, like, what will look like solid ground just with the ripples sort of, like, slides off of this creature, this entity. And you see, like, the cloak itself sort of gives off this reddish glow. And you see these long scythe-like blades for arms coming up from inside what looks like a Grim Reaper with red cloth flowing all around it. Rises out of the ground. No face. Looks completely hollow. And what's your price? Oh... How do you feel I about the end like of the universe? The end of the universe? Um, I've seen it many times. Mm -hmm, but like humanoid life pushing through, like continuing on, nobles, abyssal entities. How, how she's do you... in a real dark place and she's wondering if we should even be alive, if we should just end all existence on abyssal and material plane. Well, That's I'm just, I, I, what do you think, Keeper of Souls? I think that if all the souls... No, it no longer existed, you wouldn't have any. They wouldn't have existed. At least are, are, they, are they a burden? 
No, they're quite fun. I send them along their way. Sometimes I reincarnate them. Sometimes I eat them for myself and torture them for eternity. Sometimes I send them to actual hell. Sometimes I give them a nice little afterlife for a second, and then I remind them that they're nothing, and uh, I give them complete blackness for centuries. Which one, uh, Megalomania? Last, which one would you do from us when we die? Oh, I'm just curious. There's a special place in my heart for you. You took my, well, my daughter, as it were. Did you not? Yeah. Maybe do you sense her, it. by the way? Have you been keeping an eye on her? Mm. She's somewhere. They, many times she's somewhere. Hard to keep track of her as it is. Because, uh, you know, no fault of our own. It was actually some crazy, weird traveler guy. But uh, I have a feeling she's being used endlessly to pump out, like, some crazy primordial noble hybrids mm, fun wait what Just... you don't remember that she yeah, powered we... the dwarven ship which went the other we, side we gave the we got 16 oh, years into right. the future yes. but we gave him okay. an endless army gotcha. right hand an yes. endless army gotcha. mm. <clears throat> well you know if you want control then I like games okay and what type of game do you have for us today? Oh, honestly, I hadn't thought about it. I was quite distracted. Many things going on. Do you have any suggestions? Monopoly. That's the worst <laughs> game that was ever created by any entity in the universe anywhere, and is known to cause the death of a <laughs> Risk. Um, we can, uh... Slightly better, but not by much. <laughs> You said you wanted a soul like mine sometime. How do you, what, I mean, I'd be happy to bring you the defiler. The soul of your father. Yeah. Mm. You could have a lot of fun with that one. I could give you control on loan for a while for a soul, not for keeps. It's not that valuable. Well, that just means we wouldn't get her, or get or Kentra. Hmm. We, well, we wouldn't. don't know because we don't know where um, it is now. We we haven't seen the red fabric, right? It's in Sylvia's hands. No, yeah, I'm saying the the right. Unless we just this took... was a failure, and the cloth was destroyed in the process. You're really gonna lie what? to the people who have more power than us at the moment? They don't. <laughs> they do. They don't. They really they do. don't. They're about even they with you guys right now. They're about even. That means we'd have to roll really well. The thing but, is, yeah. we'd, we don't want to cheat them out of anything because right now they're our allies and you know, if they succeed, then we're born and if they fail, then we're not, so. Maybe we already did cheat them out of it. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't, but. But they let you keep it. <gasps> we We don't know. <laughs> It would be great. <laughs> it could still be in one of those vaults we haven't visited yet. I don't know we... what happens. So <laughs> the only thing we know is that what we do now is guaranteed versus oh yes we don't do now and are not. Okay, I look at Annika like, and how do you um, think we're just gonna get to the defiler? I don't know. I'm assuming, Mister Keeper of Souls, that this trade has to be one for one now for now. It's not a, in the future, we'll give them to you. No. In this sense, if your promise is to bring me those souls, that soul in particular, I would ideally require a few more if you wish to keep control, as it is. What's, who's the other one? The, uh, the, who was the one that, that was abusing, um, the, the girl? The Reaper. 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 How about him too? Mm. Both of those. Oh, you can torture the died. shit out of him. Yeah, both of them. You can you torture get him you. before he becomes a primordial. That would be great. Is that Wait, that's a thing that's his, gonna happen? Who's his descendant? He's he's his only descendant. 
Uh, no, Reaper is. Uh, Hold on, did you just say before? Reaper he, and and, as and um, he Hexter is a primordial here. Yes, he is. How does that? Thinking he can work? take more souls than I can. <laughs> oh. Because this place doesn't follow the same rules of time, but his physical form in our time is not is a not primordial yet. yet. But he I becomes one, and then he. Yeah. Okay. So how? About... I would really. Yes, bring me his soul, so I may torture it for all eternity. The soul of a before primordial. Oh, God, yes. You can keep control. What he about... himself is known as the Reaper of Souls and is quite jealous of the Reaper. Okay. What about, uh, what information do you know of Lady Providence? Lady Pro... <laughs> Lady Providence? I believe that your suspicions are quite well found. Guys, what are our suspicions? But that He's she just is. looking at Sly. <laughs> <laughs> Sly, what do you suspect? That the Lady Providence right now is the same chick. Oh, the, the same, Ultima. Literally the same, yeah, Ultima. Yeah, like, it gotcha. is just Ultima. It's not a descendant. It's literally just Ultima. Right. <laughs> gotcha. I remember. I already figured that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. There I go, giving you information for free. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. So we... It's not free. You are banking on getting a soul of a pre-primordial. Pre-primordial yeah. and a twisted... twisted. Now, primordial. I will say this. Fail to get me the soul of the Reaper. Do not bring me his soul. Do not let Kentro reap him. And Kentro will reap your soul. That is the deal. So to... All of our souls are just like one of our souls. Your I... souls. All it, of you. It was my Everyone idea, knows. to be fair. So, all we have to do is get Kentro to kill. Or to at least be there during death, yeah? If Kentro is nearby in the death of the Reaper, then he will reap his soul and bring it to me. Okay. And then you may have it. If you fail uh... to do so before the end of the universe, if you fail to do it before he becomes a primordial, then your soul is mine. Okay. All right, quick question then. Weaknesses, tips, pointers. What have you? What do you know of the man? If I knew how to deal with the Reaper, I would have done it myself. Do primordials kill each other? Is that a thing? Y'all attack each other? Y'all just well, kind of like I, gripe I, over power? I think we... I keep souls. You I'm a gentleman. Them. He devours them and becomes one with them. He becomes stronger. And once he gets a hold of that one particular entity, he is so powerful that he simply ascends. Of, wait, what particular entity? Oh, spoilers. Enjoy your time. Hey. Kentro? I know who it is. Hex? And he goes, so. No? You guys what? hear the voice come out, and it's just sickening when you hear it, and it flies straight into the red cloth. Okay. And then have a nice trip back. You guys are back on the material plane. Yikes. Well, uh, how come we can't, like, just have a vacation in the primordial plane? I didn't Why does it always have to, to be with that guy? Do a deal like that. I was going to make you guys do a death game against Gentro, but this is more fun. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I agree. You offered him the Reaper soul. Ooh, baby. Well, Moon Man, Freefall, offered him the Reaper soul. I mean... Uh, to sweeten the deal. Well, we we were planning on killing them anyway, <laughs> and you know it, you know, uh, if we could get just bear get mind, his help. All of your souls are on the line. You uh, now have Kentro, fine. also known as the Reaper of Souls. So he's banking on us either giving him one free primordial soul, or he gets five. In theory, yes. You guys don't know if you're pre-primordial. Yeah, I mean, and in order for us to be that, then we make Reaper it, we make it has to die, this. so. But you guys just know that um, there is a soul that he reaps that makes him so powerful he ascends to, to primordial statehood. Uh, I, w I wouldn't doubt it's Lady Providence. Well, I was I was just thinking Hex, because Hex is his last competitor for the, the family so line. There are some, there are a few entities you want to keep him from reaping. Lyra, for sure. Like hundred percent Lyra, because she's you know 
So, for the sake of your souls, you guys have set up a pretty dicey gamble. Hey, I mean, first of all, Sylvia and myself you guys didn't want to say... kill the one entity that I have created with more HP than Avathon. Oh, shit. That's fine. Well, we so... Have, we have to find a way to just do it without attacking need... HP, then. The, That's the, fine. The we Reaper? The Reaper? The actual character, the Reaper, is designed to be unkillable because... He, is, he was one of the ones that ascends to be a primordial. That's Not fine. ascends to be the higher plane being that sets the forth the next universe. He becomes a primordial. So, you guys can reap his soul. Okay. Well, he did give us a deadline. So. Well, nope, the end of the before universe he becomes is the a deadline. Primordial so, and before and the we, end. we're screwed either way if this. the universe no, ends. We, so. This is easy. You guys are overthinking it. It's fine. I, yeah, I just, um, yeah, we'll be fine. First, we just need the coal. Easy peasy. <laughs> that too. That could maybe, maybe before he becomes primordial should be easy peasy. Um, and we can we can find allies. We can find allies. That said, you guys find yourself in the material plane with two fabrics. And uh, and then as you appear, um, Miss Giel sitting there, and she's just like, "We were done." Yeah. And there's an impatient free fall. Just like, God ah, damn, you did the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can say whatever future you. Just <laughs> looks at future me and just like, I know why you're here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I tried. We tried. We really did. We really Bull fucked it up, shit. didn't we? Not you didn't really try like, shit. Yeah, the most up-to-date version of you walks up and that you go to do all the things that right. you just did. <laughs> <laughs> just switches out and you guys are like wait what <laughs> yep. I'm what Can, what's the matter uh, you guys just watch a different Leo switch out and... <laughs> I'm not ever going to be used to that um, yeah. well yeah Vistio or yeah um... so we have Bonto and we know that at some point you know where did we find Bonto in the first vault. The first. Yeah. Or the first yeah. city. I mean, the first. Like, yeah, where we took shelter. Planet. Yeah. At time. So we know Bonto you eventually. You the other Leo walking there. off like, what's the point of even trying? I mean, I know I'm gonna fucking fail. <laughs> <laughs> Still goes and does it. <laughs> I was thinking that too. I was like, oh, why bother? <laughs> so why bother? But he does it. Uh. Um. um you could cause all bullshit. But so we'll we're gonna give you Bonto for sure. Because we know y'all have him later. The uh, this red what is this Bonto? Oh, feed him. He um, eats everything, and he doesn't really understand good or bad. Or he's just he consumes everything. The abyssal plane was completely empty because he was eating everything. And I'm really worried that taking him out of it is what allows the nobles, our version of the black evil universe destroying shit i think i'll give him to varsalu varsalu yeah, can handle a creature like that that thing that you felt that like gnawing at you was him so yeah. he was he was extreme you. extreme he, he caution put, she goes and she puts it in the tank and she says varsalu will make a good companion for them well and and maybe he can help you with the the terror um of course but i and this red fabric here this that is ours we kind of have to have we, now in order to get it, we um, had to make a bargain, but we have to have it in order to fulfill the bargain. So this is... Or we need to know where to find it in the future so we can go get it to the... fulfill the bargain e... as soon as we go back. Very well. I don't think anyone will have any questions as long as you help us defeat the terror with it. We have no qualms. Yeah. Fair. Fantastic. Good. Um, but about... Bon like, I'm just throwing this out there. When... And can you guys also explain that? And that. She points, and you guys see a top hat laying on the ground. Oh, I uh, cannot explain. Wait, y'all didn't make that? Where did that that came back with us? Um. Well, and then she points, and you see the little fabric twisting around it, purple fabric. I let Leith out to try to get to know her, and, and when the portal opened, she disappeared for a moment, and she had that. So you can put anything you want in it, and it'll store anything, just not multiples, or anything that's similar. Yeah, Related. one one of a kind. Like you can put a person in there, but you cannot put their son or father or close 
relative in there because it will lose one of them. Uh, we discovered that the hard way. Very but well. it's, Thank you for the it's, information. A, it's a portal so we'll to just the put primordial plane. Things plan. that we don't fuck with and put in vaults for you later. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember where we found that, but I, I pull out mine. I'm just like, that's. Very well. Um, so. I want to put a hat inside the hat. There are two fabrics <laughs> left. Uh, um, so, like what is that, Celeste? You, you obviously seem very successful in this venture. What, what, what planes are Celestial Plane and then... Celestial and, and the last. Meta. I really want to go to the Celestial Plane because that's New Game Plus. <laughs> I, I always forget about that and then it gets my, I'm like, oh yeah! <laughs> um, uh, if we can make it to the 5th and 6th planes... We can try. Sure. We will get... Um, G. LeCrom walks up, he says, I can help power that. We've got some uh, extra energy prepared. So, Now, if you think of planes as a hierarchy, we're strong, but things that we meet on a fifth or sixth plane... True. Could we might not really be able to even up. touch. Yeah, how hard do your guys' rolls get in this game? Let's say 100 is pretty <laughs> high, right? Yeah, celestial blade. <laughs> We're looking at thousand numbers, two thousand numbers. Yeah. We so depends. we can go, but Sylvia has to be ready for a quick exit. Can we just okay. we pop in and then we put Roa in the fabric, and then next time there's a new game plus, Roa just like disappears out of the middle and then we... just gone. Completely <laughs> meditating this. What if we ended up accidentally with Aramil? <laughs> <laughs> Kang. Kang uh, fabric. I actually have set up this whole thing, so whenever you guys want to go, I have uh, this, this section well typed out. Okay, well, we've got nine minutes left in the session. No, um, we might as well do a nice cliffhanger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm ready to go. Um, yeah, I want to I wanna see how this goes. God, I want to. I hope Aramil ends up in the cloth. Just like <laughs> random fireballs all over the place. No, I want to put Keelan in and then. Done. New game plus. We don't have to uh, deal with Keelan anymore. If you tried to actually capture Keelan, it would immediately <laughs> enter Sly, and Sly would become Keelan for New Game Plus. Oh, so we'd have to have Schneider there. <laughs> yeah, so Schneider would become the entity, the evil god of your. So let me guess. Keelan is my other half. Yeah, my he other, is. Other, he other, is your celestial. Half. You got power, <laughs> him, but that's yeah, where you, you got, got chaos strike from. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the re rolls. That's mm -hmm. right. I remember that. Yeah. All right. How about Amira then? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes Amira. She's a bitch. Uh, so, Balin, Thanos. Um, it's all up to Sylvia. What me? Hi. You're you're the plane walker. So I guess we're gonna try to go to the celestial plane. All right. Well, I, I you grab the white fabric. Yeah, I uh, with a thirty, I try to help boost her focus, like mentally. Uh, thirty. Yeah. That's how many steps is that? That's two and a half. Or three two and a half, yeah. So just three steps. Right? Yeah, yeah. If you round up, yeah. Okay. So that's just three steps added to your uh to your roll. So one D six. Didn't somebody say that they could help? Yeah, that's um, fine. I'm helping you Did right you? now. I'm the I only one help. that really has like mental focus. And then <laughs> um, G. Lacron is creating an energy oh, generator yeah. that's going to add a D12. <laughs> so you get a D12 and a D6. Does this actually. energy generator look like a really bad form of the crystals? It, it does, yeah. It's, it's, it, well, it's actually, they perfected that already. So it's one of those little energy crystals that he's, he's using to power a device that's basically creating the rift for you. You just have to stabilize it and make the portal. So. He guys watch as he, you know, he goes about because they've been working on creating these portals themselves. And so he see he has the energy generator and he starts plugging in some numbers and he starts to open up and it starts to make a rift, but the rift sort of looks like it's probably only at about abyssal level. <laughs> All right, helps with one plane already. Uh, how, how does it work with like using power points? 
You get each power point is one step. So if you do all six, it's an extra D twelve. Yep. I'm curious to see if she rolls that high. So that's two, plus 2d12 plus a d6. If you roll high enough, you can just go straight to the meta. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to go hard because I've been rolling really low with it. But yeah. I'm also confused on how power points work in general because somebody said like we regenerate them like every session. Every session, mm -hmm. we're supposed to get like three at the end, but it, it varies depending on what we do and how successful the session is. So it's up to no, the GMs. No, those are advancement GMs. points, not power points. You always revert yeah. your power, power points. Power points are six points every six. every episode or every extra oh, well, points, so which we don't have very many of very often. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. That's why I like. It's just if that I get on the when you have to... extra, so he has extra ones. So like mm -hmm. those actually turn into advancement points. Yeah. When they then they're over six cap. That's why like if I got a chance to like, completely like encapsulate, like the thing that went like apparated, I was gonna be like I'm rolling all my power points to try and absorb this thing. Okay. Which by the way, we haven't gotten our advancement points in probably like five six episodes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he did give us a shitload for something recently. No. Um, for the kill, the for killing the. Basically, um... once the block is over, I'll just give you guys like 60. So. <laughs> yeah, we got like 40 or something, 30 from killing the um, the corpse planet. beast on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, Sylvia. Okay. This is with all the help and my PowerPoint. 82. And if it's shit, I can use luck. Yeah. Oh my haven't god. I have used that either today. The roll. Ace the roll. <laughs> Holy fuck. That would be so high. 57. 57. 5d12. Do I need luck? I will use my 57's luck. 57's real high. But you can always burn the luck at the end of the session. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, might as well burn you, it. You get to keep the highest. The highest so, oh, okay. Yeah, roll, then, yeah. roll two more times. Do, do, wait, if I do luck, do I get a? If I'm rolling luck on something that I used all my advancement, you just roll on, the same. Do roll I get again. to keep that? Okay. Yeah, you just roll the same exact thing again. Mm. Oof. And I two had more. two luck, so. All yep. right, so. Oh, okay. Okay. 57, fifty-seven it is. Fifty-seven it is. I mean, it is pretty high. That's a twelve. It that's is, but it's also and, if and the threshold is. 60, I was going then it's hard. Real close. Okay, okay. fifty-seven. This is hard. Yeah. Fifty-seven. Would you like to go to the celestial plane, or would you like to go to the meta plane? Ah, oh, shit. We should go to the meta plane. I did say go hard or go home, so. So you guys attempt to rip, and then you're like, let's go for it, and you guys feel her rip everything. And for a second, you see some shit that doesn't make any sense. Um, you see faces that look completely unfamiliar. Everything looks really weird. Um, and then, see the traveler, oh and then <laughs> you find yourselves completely surrounded by white. And you look, and a man turns around with a toothbrush in his mouth, and he looks at you. And he's like, "Hey guys," as the traveler brushing his teeth. Uh, hey, he looks at all of you. And just, Hi! Hey, we came to your house this time! Um... No. I really have no idea who we are. But, um... Hello! And you guys look, and he looks at something, and you guys look at it too, as this massive D6 is just sitting there. Uh... And he looks at it for a second, and he looks over at you guys, and he's like, Hmm. Well, um, that's something. Uh, that's a die, not just some kind of thing. It's a mm. large die. I look at Sylvia, I'm like, we didn't go to the Celestial Plan, did we? I mean, you don't know what yeah. it, what it. <laughs> hmm. Well, welcome, all of you. I, I was stuck here for a little bit. Um, figured I'd freshen up. Can we throw oh. the fabric on him? <laughs> you guys have this green fabric in your hands. Because I'm sure you just took it, too. Yeah, sure. why not? Because it's the meta plane. Mm. So you did. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys took it with you, and you look, and you just see him. You're just surrounded by white all around you. 
Yeah, like, do you want to you wanna come back with us? And just hold the fabric. Here, you must be cold. <laughs> Are you trying to it's capture fine. me? <laughs> I'm not some sort of Pokemon. You can't just capture me. I'm not sure what you're doing here. What, right. what is what what is I'm here? pretty sure is... whatever you need, you just gotta push that and uh roll it. Uh roll it push where? the D six. Okay, it turns immediately into a D seven, roll a D seven. <laughs> two 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 oh two, my and God, two and he two. stole it. I brought us here and he You can roll <laughs> it. Whoever I just said somebody roll it. Well, he already did. We, we all go oh, up and roll. Oh, no, I lied. It's a D8. It is a D8. Roll a D8. I forgot I put that one in there. All right, I, I look at Sylvia. I'm about to touch it. She's about to touch it. I'm like, paper, rock, scissors. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're in the meta plane. Do we want to try and go for an eight with a bunch of rerolls? <laughs> I mean, we don't know. Is eight good? I bad? What is... Well, Mood has, I have like... Has them. Mood has a shitload. I've got, like, eight. <laughs> He's got eight. All right. Yeah, well, but we don't know what they mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah we he's just sitting there, like, and he just sits down in a chair that appears out of nowhere, and he just like, kicks back, and he has the toothbrushes hanging in his mouth, <clears throat> and he's just like, "I don't care one way or the other. I just thought I'd offer." Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised you guys made it here. You got him pretty strong. I, I kind of look around, and I see since that chair comes comes out of nowhere. I'm like, hmm. and I think of a bracelet that contains the energies of my arm so i have control over it entirely okay i just think about it and i'm like i kind of like do this and they have all right you, you move your hand you go down you're <laughs> on the meta plane you're not meta <laughs> <laughs> you guys feel really uneasy here though as if a lot of people are watching you for some reason. <laughs> um, well, go ahead and uh, roll it. Uh, yeah, I feel like I got some six left. Do you guys want me to just burn them all and see what we get? Sure. <laughs> Didn't even need them. Rolled an eight. Hey, wait, do I get to reroll? Does that ace? Is that an No, it's not an ace. No, He's just says like, hmm. Oh, I see what this is. Right. Well, by the rules vested in me, you can choose to keep that eight or you can change it to whatever we want. Is an eight. What is, what's happening? What is this? The eight is the wild card. You can pick it to be one through seven. No, I mean, you can keep eight and you can change it to any one of them you want it to be. So. That's a bit odd. Look at them like, uh... I mean, I know what it is. What? It's, it's very simple it at this point. Well, I mean, it's it's one of those things. Where, um, you know, you're here taking things from me, once again. So. Just, oh, hey, this symbol on my chest. What, is, what does this mean? Change. In layman's terms. Universal speak. Change the very fabric of reality. <clears throat> I have a lot of them. He pulls his clothes cloth away, and you look, and his entire body is scarred and branded. From, that like, his neck down, painful. it's just completely scarred and branded with these different colored burned scars on Annika his body. And it just kind of, like, perks up and leans in to kind of, like, get a Oh, his body is fascinating. Look. And as, you, as he pulls his, as he pulls his, like, because he's just wearing a bathrobe. Um, as he pulls it to the side, you can even see this, his arm. Uh... You recognize it right away, Leo. You didn't notice it before, but like the top of his shoulder has this green crystalline look to it. And you look and you see his hand has this crystal green crystalline Ooh. look. It is the same arm that you saw. Yeah. Like, and he's wearing it. I want that. And he's got it. And he's like, no, oh, you want this? Well, it's basically what your options are, isn't it? That's what you're here for. Yeah, eight or seven. Sure, it's keep the eight, I guess. Mm. Sylvia, eight. Sylvia just muttering to herself though she hates meta shit. Would you like me to go <laughs> ahead and write down for you um, what all the options are? Because you rolled yes. an eight on the first try. And we might as well just make this a very informed choice. <laughs> so he sits there and he just does this. And you guys like 
it looks really disorienting, but as he just gestures, you guys see text start appearing like on a computer screen in front of you. But it's like massive. And as you guys watch like the white space around you, you guys are basically on a computer screen. <laughs> you see one period. The shepherd. Two. These are in bullet points, by the way, big square bullet points. Mm -hmm. um, two, the magician. Three, the host. Four, the overlord. Five, the undertaker. Six, the usurper. Seven, the architect. Eight, the game changer. I mean, meta, but the game changer sounds good. Yeah, the game changer sounds pretty good. I kind of want to say game changer. But I feel like the game changer is also, I have change on me, and I can change the game. <clears throat> you change reality, not the game. True. Wait, but do you isn't think that, that means the same thing exist? for us? Yeah, right. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm not sure how your universe works. Or is the game work, changer... It was weird whenever I used that. Like, Reva's every time. cheat thing. I didn't like that guy one bit. He was a bit weird. Got Sorry. All the dark. What guy? Who? What? Hmm? Another iteration of you? Who are you talking about? What? What did you just say? I missed Nothing. it. Nothing. Pick your poison. One through eight. <laughs> I like... I honestly like... Something. I like... I like Undertaker. Can or... you just read them off again real fast? <laughs> oh my god. The Shepherd, the Magician, the Host, the Overlord, the Undertaker, the Usurper, the Architect, the Game Changer. Usurper could be fun. Architect could be useful. That sounds like a, like, we're, we're trying to build a new universe here, so an Architect. I don't know what it means. I don't know anything, but I... This is stressing. I know, this is ridiculous. I'm, I, I'm, I like eight. I'm, stick, I, I'm yeah. sticking with the eight. Me too. Eight, eh? Game I'm game. gonna go with six was Undertaker, right? Six was the Usurper. Oh, I'm going for the Usurper. The Usurper. I was gonna say, is this a all or none type thing, or are we? Yeah, yeah I'm assuming we're, we're voting, right? Yeah. yeah no, we're um, you're talking about going in that fabric, so you can take it with you. Um, you choose one. Yeah. So we have two votes for the game changer. One vote for Usurper. The Usurper. And Sylvia says... Sylvia's just stressing. <laughs> She's just stressing. She can't make a decision. Well, if you'd, like, is... if you'd like me to help you out just a little bit. He, he pulls the, the robe off and you see the scars all over his body. <laughs> standing there completely naked. Um, and he's like, <clears throat> and he holds his arm out <laughs> and he says, the shepherd, the arm flashes with a blinding white light. And then he stands there in these brilliant white robes and he holds it out again. The magician <laughs> bursts in a bright blue flash and he's standing there and he's just literally just got a wizard hat on completely naked otherwise. <laughs> and he's just like, <clears throat> actually, I need to remember the numbers. The host, <laughs> he does it. His arm flashes into brilliant gold. The light just cascading everywhere, and he's ethereal. Like you, he, and he's got like this. He's got nothing on. He's still completely naked, but ethereal, and kind of like gassy looking. Like he's made of gaseous material, um, and he's just got like a belt, and that's it. And then he's like, <clears throat> the Overlord, massive super armor, big flowing red cape. Um, several hundred weapons floating behind him big flash of red light Boom. black the undertaker he looks like the fucking grim reaper he sticks it back out again step back for this one the usurper none of you have any powers okay um and you feel yourselves being drawn in like a black hole is in front of you so not that one he just looks completely <laughs> plain. His features are gone. And then he holds it out again. He says, 
The architect. <laughs> Flash of green light. And he stands there. And otherwise, he looks completely normal. Still naked. But you're not sure what's going on there. He's just got this sort of green, glassy arm, which is how he was before, right? And he says, and the game changer. Hold his arm out. You see a completely different person standing there. He's bald. He has a red beard. A little overweight. <laughs> Striped shirt. He's just kind of looking around. Uh, I'm thinking the Undertaker. I, I think that'd be a good card to have to just kill somebody, namely the Reaper. What about the the Usurper? If he doesn't have powers, like, well, is that is that an use, ability use that we would? Usurper took our powers. Yeah, but if you we, guys, you guys just figure it out, man. Like, whatever you want to do. So is the guy standing there? If we took the you guys Usurper have, with your us, I have no idea what's happening. Yeah, I, we're just kind of side eyeing this weird. Yeah. If we if we can direct the usurper, then we can kill the reaper because we can nullify his power and he's just a human again. Right, and that would that would nullify everybody's power. Then just this shoot him. So silly, chat. Yeah, so I, but that that would in front of you. that would go for. What do you wait? What? what? <laughs> the guy standing in front of you says, "This is getting so weird, chat." And just point, point <laughs> to the side. Uh, and the game changer is just this guy. So I'm, I mean, he's just scratching his beard. What's special about this guy? Yeah, who are you? I'm the game changer. What it? What does that mean? I do stuff. I like the sound of this. <laughs> what? He scratches his beard again. <laughs> what? What kind of stuff do you? I mean, you look in your stealth star book. He says, looking down. Sylvia is now embracing the sound of chaos. <laughs> so, honestly, he laughs. because fuck everything. Uh, game changer's fine. Decisions. Usurper, or I agree with the Reaper one. Any, any Under, of those Undertaker. three is kind of my, what I'm there to I, do. yeah. Um, hey, game changer, which one would you take? Can't hear you. He's just smoking on a vape, not really listening to you, really, he says. <laughs> Uh, Useful. Shit. Usurper could help us nullify powers. Undertaker could help us just outright kill somebody. Game changer could... Do everything and anything. Who knows? Or nothing. Or nothing. Or no, nothing. I do all this stuff I would have done before. I mean, it's fine. It's fun. You know, I've done it before for that guy. So I'll do it for you guys too. Whatever. If I feel like it. Dude. Taking usurper or undertaking. <laughs> you want to stick away from the usurper. Mm, that's bad. That's bad oh, news. Okay, so I'm okay. thinking undertaker. Like picture, picture like Avathon. <laughs> this guy's just like talking, and then talking about himself and talking about himself like he's talking about himself right now. This is what he's saying to you guys, and you get really confused. I mean, like, oh, that, that sounds good. And that. Right? And that. Avathon Could you? Avathon. And that. And then he breaks. So. And then and then the traveler sitting in front of you. Oh. <laughs> what even is? Again, are we sure we don't just want the universe to end so none of this ever happens? <laughs> no, I don't know what all the rest of you guys want to do. It's I mean, completely... if the universe just ends, our souls are already sold. Uh, well, the in our universe, in the it's a sticky is... situation. Being in on the meta plane is very dangerous. Don't look up, by the way. You'll see. Very weird things. I, I think we yeah, all look yeah, up, yeah, right? Look up. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you guys look up. Yeah, you can't tell <laughs> us and, not uh, to. <laughs> you guys look up and you see um, a couple of different faces, a little turning wheel, and a frozen graphic of an angel sign. What? You see Discord. Yeah, you see Discord. <laughs> You gotta stay away from the meta plane, guys. It's scary. It's a scary place. Uh, okay. Uh, 
I say Undertaker or Architect now. Well, the I forgot what the Architect was. I'm sorry, no, no. chat. This is never supposed to happen in an RPG, but they went to the to the the the, the sixth well, plane, which is I'm, the plane. I had to. <laughs> I kind of still want to vote for Game Changer because he might be able to yeah. do what the Undertaker was, was. Third. Three Let's votes. Do everything y'all want to three do. Three votes for Game Changer. All right, Game Changer. I mean, to me, Undertaker was a close second. But yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, all right. The traveler's not even there anymore. It's just some bald guy, striped shirt, slightly overweight, red beard. I think He's got a beanie on and a headset that seems to connect to nowhere. And he's just like, just getting here. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh... Do we see Starbucks in the background? <sighs> yeah, there's just a cat just walking around. <laughs> um, so no, he. Uh... Cat? Yeah. So he crawls. He gets inside of the fabric and just wears it like up like a jumpsuit, and then it folds itself up and it turns into um, this E20. I said in the beginning. All right. You guys now have a D20. Who wants to carry it's that? It's about the size of a softball. Who's carrying everything, I, by the I way? I want to take it because I was the one who said to put the fabric on him. Yeah, so it's got like flecks of gold and white and green. All right, Sylvia is carrying the D20. Yep. So. Sylvia's happy again. <laughs> at any time, you can roll the D20 and something will happen. I love this. Um, so that was the green. You guys have now touched the final plane. The plane where you're literally just sitting in a white space, and when you look up, you see Discord. <laughs> so, uh, as you do that, the traveler stands in front of you, now losing the game changer from himself. He's just like, that's great. I was stuck with that guy for a long time. I think now I can finally move on. Uh, uh, we're happy you. for you, I guess. Um, cool. Have a nice universe. Have a good time. Bye. <laughs> Are you we... guys, you find yourself shunted away from the meta plane. Your eyes go blurry for a second. You look around. You're holding the D20 in your hand, Sylvia. And you see a very terrifying face come in front of you. <laughs> Mouth opens wide. Teeth. Gross. Decayed. Slack-jawed teeth. And then you hear, stop it! <laughs> as a slap comes on the top of the head. <laughs> and you look up and you see a very animated looking wizard standing above you with what looks like a long, white, long neck rifle in his hand. And he's like, who are you guys? You look weird. Some fancy armor. Where'd you get that from? And then... Uh... Uh, woman with cat ears and uh, like a black assassin suit pokes around him and says hi and that's what we'll end our session today 